Y'all feeling spooky yet? Feeling spooky. How's it hanging? How's life? Shark Halloween stream? Oh, you betcha. Uh, shark! Oh, spoopy. I'm more happy that I have the power back on. Nice! You were out of power? Damn. <clears throat> I am so sorry. That does not sound like fun. Hours of that power, fun times in Stormtown, USA. I am so sorry. That's awful. Hi, Zmira. Hi, Nevik. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Luke. Hi, Thix. Hi, Lass. Hi, Seeker. Love you. Let's get my costume done in FF14. Nice. I uh, prepared three costumes. Fine, you know, actually. ファイヤーはてさいふたさんがいじゃまいなあ。ちょっと待って。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
Exactly, last three plus zero equals zero, which is how many ones you've been scribed for. That's kind of poggers. Uh, hi. Um, I don't, I look like I'm not awake yet. What do you mean? This is my spooky Halloween costume. It's very scary. It's an incredibly scary Halloween costume. Ferocious. It's scary because I don't have the Major General. You don't have the Major General FF14? No! Fun, fun fact, the Major General is like literally one of the first things I grinded for. I, I figured out what fishing was. And I did the ocean fishing, and I grinded for the Major General. Like, I, I wasn't even, like... I don't think I even had my Chocobo yet, and I was gunning for the Major General. I wanted it so bad. It was adorable. And I don't think I've touched ocean fishing ever since, actually. Oh. Have I got a Halloween costume this year? Alas, no! Well, I guess you're gonna miss out on the Halloween Glam Contest. Where we have a really special prize. That's actually a, a really good fucking prize. It's a 400,000 gil item. Honestly, this town's got to offer. My treat. Did you mean it? I, uh, I always wanted to try Odyssey. The chicks are ridiculously hot. Got it. Yeah, I've been there once. Can't say it was my secret. Really? But super popular and all the magazines give rave reviews. Why is that? Only the girls are cute, and the service is top notch. It certainly lives up to the height. Where go the wrong then? Clientele. I thought the guys they were a big shot businessmen and A-listers, old men who could light their cigs with a lot of bills that they wanted. The girls pick up the scent of cash like sharks. A couple of nobodies like us go there, and we'll be drowning in our sorrows before we get passed right up. Uh oh. I need to see if I can set up Kashima on a crystal character, because she may not be kind of poor or not, even in heaven's word. Uh, there's lots of things you could do for like a spooky costume. There's a lot of things you could do. There's like some good ARR stuff that's kind of spooky. Like the uh, the Haiku, Haiku Manor stuff. Fish for my blood. How about the Grand then? Places easier for a sweet like me. Grand's great. Fantastic, actually. That's what I was going to suggest anyway. Let's head out. I just hope this become a Majima stand stream in my absence. Uh, yeah, Cry as you left, and I've been converted into the cult of Majima. Um, so hi, hello, hi. Costume, uh, about having a spooky costume, or is it a different theme? It is a Halloween theme. Yep. It's a Halloween theme, so it can be spooky, it can be scary. It can really be anything, to be honest. Oh no, I'm going in here. I mean, not surprised. Look, Majima is, uh, I, I always said haiku, like, ha. Huh? Oh, okay. I don't know if it's right, to be honest. I pronounce things weird. Um, yeah, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, cries, to be fair. Majima's the right level of unhinged. Like, like, he's, like, a little unhinged, but he's also, like, a nice and respectful guy. So, like, so I can't even make the argument that he would be, like, a toxic partner. Nah, he'd probably be really, he'd actually probably be very good. But, like, oh, man, I just, he's got a certain, uh, ooh, mm. I like him a lot, okay? Even though he's probably, like, in his 40s, that doesn't matter. He's probably twice my age, it doesn't matter. Magic happen? There might be a fight, actually. So if that's the case, I'm gonna go pick up some unhinged. Oh boy! Happy Hallow's Eve! Hi, Bones! Happy Hallow's Eve to you! I think he's 28. Oh, he's only 20. He's only 28. God, he looks like he's 40. No offense, he does not look. Uh, what the fuck? 
you know what? Um, oh, that's the temple. Don Quixote's over there. I want to go buy some help. He's 24, apparently. The fuck? How? How? Whomst? Thank you. work ages you? I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see that. He is 54 and Yakuza 7. Oh my god! They also all smoke usually. Oh, that's fair, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kiryu was 20, I think. Yeah, I knew he was really young. Damn. Sammy, you were free to thirst. I mean, an age gap like that wouldn't stop me, to be fair. Or it would be weird. Oh, okay. 20 years before the main series. Okay. Interesting. So the main series is like 2008. Okay. Interesting. Oh, he's gotta he's gotta put the sunglasses on so people don't see the eye patch. <laughs> ああ。すみません。ただいま満席でして。少々待っていただいてもお構いませんでしょうか。構えん、待つ。ほま、すみません。そしたらこちらでお待ちください。よろしければお飲み物もお持ちしますが。ああ。そんな行き着かんでええね
I was like, oh, this Kira and Nishiki guy, they seem kind of nice. Oh, Kiro got framed for murder. Oh, he got really framed for murder. Oh, oh, his boss framed. Oh, oh, his boss. Oh, God, his boss is fighting him. <laughs> like, like, it really just, like, grabs you by, like, the shirt and just... It gets you really invested, like, immediately. Like, I would die for Kiryu already. I'd probably die for Majima, too. I don't even know Majima. I hardly know anything about him. I love him. But that entrance, like, Majima's entrance into the se like, into the, the game, oh my god. That was so good. The way he, like, psychologically dismantles his, like, this, like, nasty client worker, and then, like, puts him out so much fucking money... And basically makes it so that he can never go out for the rest of the year again as like sort of this almost exile punishment without actually destroying him socially so there's no bad blood between them like <clears throat> oh my god holy shit it's really good it's probably called policy not their personal taste gross that's an empty table. I thought this place was big soft. Be cute at the entrance, even when there's space to make it seem like demand side. Wait, no, go back! Go back! Good back! Go, go back! Go back! What was that? What was that? Go back! Makes me feel high sometimes. Oh, this is so good. 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 Oh, this is so I respect women so much. <laughs> She's like, if you're trying to flirt with me, this isn't working. He's like, but I respect women. <laughs> I feel like that's what Kiro would do. Like, Kiro every day drinks a big old pint of respect women juice. Like, he gets up, goes to his fridge, grabs a carton of respect women juice, and just downs it. Like, that's the vibe he has. Majiba also respects women, but he has, like, he has, like, a respect women... He, he is like a he is like a shot of respect women juice in the evening. Like before he goes to work, you know? Like that's kind of the vibe that Majima has. But here, he, he drinks an entire cart in a day. Just bleh, bleh. <laughs> Majima's like, I, on the other hand, can talk to women. <laughs> but I get to in front of Zoni. Ask about the Odyssey. That seems fair. まあ、年末中古とまありますけど、最近はみんな強制で同伴させられてるから、その分お客さんが多いんとちゃいます。わあ、there he is. Right. Oh my god, that's such a shitty business practice. What are you talking about, sir? There's no one. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, no, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. You saw the naked guy, the naked, like the naked guy dancing in the corner. You saw him, right? No, you're fucking with me. <laughs> ah! No, you saw him! Ah! Ah! Okay, fine. 
Why is it turned up a solid profit? Why is there trouble? That's what the grain got to do with anything. うちもそう思うんやけどな。支配人はそう思ってへんみたいで。正直何ぼ同伴したって常連さんも毎日何十万も使ってくれるわけとちゃうし、新規のお客さんを増やさへんとあたまうちないよね。ほう、なるほどな
I have a question for you. Very, very important question. Do you think I could be a good hostess? I mean, look at me. Uh, sorry, wait. I mean, look at me. What random old guy wouldn't want to talk to me? Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. See, cries even agrees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even with the hoodie. Hell yeah. That much. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> this guy. Trick question. You'd be a great hostess, but you'd also be the one kicking the bad ones out? What do you mean? Like, bad hostesses out? Oh, or do you mean bad clients? Ooh, actually. Yeah. Okay, that'd be fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like I could be pretty intimidating when I want to be. And I'm not short by any means either. Like, I can, I can look a lot of people in the eye. And if we're talking, like, Japan hostess, I'm definitely taller than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Just cast Fire 4 and you are done. Exactly. If anyone's being shitty, I, I, would, I would let them know. Mm -hmm. Would you rock the knife gun strapped to the thigh look? Uh, maybe, yeah. Depends. Mm-mm. -hmm. There's hostess club at NYC, no clue if you have to speak Japanese, and it's probably expensive there. Well, I mean, there's hostess clubs besides just in New York. There's there's a lot. Of, there's a few of them. I should say a lot, but there's a few of them across the country. And in Japan, they're everywhere. There's a, Well, in the major cities, I should say. Like in Osaka and Tokyo. Party cities. Mm -mm. Pleasure district thing? Uh, they're just presenting them as people, which is weird for such an over-the-top series. Uh, I do, yeah. I mean, Demon, I, I like how honest they are about their portrayals. Like, they're very, they're not, like, over the top about it. It's a very, like, human portrayal of, like, everything that's happening. Which, like, I really like. It's it's very tasteful, I would describe it. So, like, I know there's some, like, content warning stuff that's coming up. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. Because I feel like the game is going to handle it pretty well. Hello, who yakas are the hottest? Uh, hi Pikachu, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, hi, how are you? Oh, which yakuza is the hottest, Majima? Majima's got the right level of unhinged to be attractive. You know, he's oh, I love him. Directed them in a way to speak that's more natural and not anime-like. I mean, makes sense. This isn't an anime game, <laughs> right? Like, why would they speak anime-like? さすがはうちと溜めはる店の試合人や。話が早くて助かるわ。あんたの方は随分と周りくどいやないか。こそこそ忍び込んで敵情視察。それがあんたのやり方か。そないなこと<笑>説得でも交渉でもしとらえ。そないなことしてもトップのあんたがうんと言わな。答え動かん。俺が説得しに来たんは望みやのうてあんたや。山形。私よ。あんた今のお弟子に危機感を覚えてて、どうにか変えようと
たまに若い客が来ても店の雰囲気になじめずなかなか常連にはなってくれへんのとちゃうか Damn, yeah. Majima, you got this guy's number. Alright. まだある実は今オデッセは深刻な女不足や一人でも多くの新人が欲しいちゃうか根拠はあるんやろうな俺が店に入った時満席っちゅうことで入り口でチートばかり待たされたせやけど中に入ったら空席が目についたこれは客全部を相手にできるほどのホステスが出勤してないっちゅうことだその証拠に男3人に女2人っちゅうテーブルがあった普通はマンツーマンが基本場合によってはクレームが来てもおかしない<笑>よう見てはるなま賢いあんたのことやそんだけ言えば俺の腹は伝わったやろ<笑>なるほどこちらの事情は全てお見通しってわけやなオデッセイのナンバーワンは望みやけどその望みがおらんようになっても、うん、今の客層を支えるホステスは十分揃っとるここにはホームランバッターは腐るほどおるそろそろバントもできる選手が必要な時期なんだけどああ、それは素晴らしいなうちの4番に対してあんたは何さしのつもりや、はいはい、まずは手付けとして1000万明日にでもうちのもんに届けさせてもらうわおおそれだけやない今うちで教育しとる新人若い客層を狙って育てとった連中やいわば将来の一番バッターちゅうとこがそいつらから好きなの何人でも持っていけマジマハンあんたが目つけたひぞこをこっちによこすと10ミリうんそうこうしそろった将来間違いなしの連中やで。マジマは clearly not strapped for cash だ。敵に死を送るようなもんです。こっちは当面の売り上げが欲しい。その代わり、あんたんとこには将来の売り上げを保証する。別にそっちだけが得をする話でもないで。マジマは、そこにそっちだけが得をする話でもないで。マジマは、そっちだけが得をする話でもないで。これがマジマゴロウのやり方っちゅうわけか。交渉成立ってことでええな。ええでしょう。ただあんたんとことうちはライバルや。今日みたいなのはこれ限りにしてもらいましょうか。これからはうちも全力で勝ちに行かせてもらいます。覚悟はええな。<笑>好きにせや。さてっとええー、酒飲ませてもろうたおがんじょう頼むわ<笑>勉強させてもらいましたからね今日は私のおごりっちゅうことでそらごちそうさんほなあキュー本当ですかああなんとか引き抜き成功やいつもいつもどうやってそんなまいろいろあんねのぞみのシフトとか詳しいことは明日話すわわかりましたお疲れ様です
Trying to karaoke uh -huh. with Jima? Can I? Menacee voice. You think this is a joke, pal? Mm hmm. What's that guy on about? Sounded pretty pissed. Is there a fight going on down there? Jima's like, ooh, a fight. I'm curious. That guy's got a sword? What kind of clown goes to raid with a big hunk of sword like this, you moron? You got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? <gasps> The pillow of Chinese broadsword. This is why I was hesitant to sell it to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's about me. I like the neck crane. Mm -hmm. Amokaki, cheap at black market front. The whole business is giving your clients what they want. God, that is a fucking terrible suit coat. It hits about what I got. I deal with only clients of respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of weapons, undergo my test. What the hell are you on about? And I will spar to defeat you pass. I'm so tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine, if you want to fight, I'll take you. Just give you like your purchase skin or whatever using on you. See, that's the point. That's your proficiency with the weapon. I'm sorry when you lose an arm or a straight up end you. Oh, this is a new fighting style. Oh, is Majima gonna get a sword or something? That'd be kind of cool. Damn. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, <laughs> he said holy shit. A baseball bat? No martial art I've ever seen, but he's got other dudes looking a sword like chopsticks, huh? Son of a bitch. Fail. Oh. What do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? Steph's got a way better weapon. Maybe a piece of lumber, the sword you hold, and the other hand is masterwork I painstakingly crafted. <sighs> what? Apparently you're unfit to wield it. Ask that you do not return to my shop again. <laughs> Name shop hope it burns with you. Rumor said you were a dealer to beat. So I went to uh, bother tracking you down with what you fraud. I gotta get the shit kicked out of him. So it's staring, don't wanna get dragged into somebody else's dirty deal, and I'm out of here. Is Luigi gonna appear now? Yep, Luigi's here. Bonus. Mm -mm, case meeting you here. I don't spook me like that, Gramps. I'm about to search for a place to find nothing. Size, I could vote unless I spare that. It's Miss Fei Hu, local arms dealer, break the master. Oh! I think that name is Chinese. I could be wrong, but I think that's a difference. But I guess it makes sense why he had a Chinese broadsword, perhaps. I think? What? You know that guy? Sayo. I was found for ages back when he walked here. He searched, checked out him as half the reason why I come into a certain body. Yeah, Nice funny flavors. Uh, there's some stuff in there. So God, this style so long. How do you figure the uh, different times? Is where your presence can start? Oh, but he's behind him. Oh my God. I trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. When you get stubborn too, delay no longer. We'll put you, uh, your hand to the test. I already told you already. This time you will certainly pass. What? Oh, I gotta take a test. I gotta visit this guy's shop. Jim will saw that look in the face as you roll this through fight. A look of inspiration. That speaks well with the truth. The curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your arsenal. Yeah. Vince is caught by my inspiration as you dumb thoughts around for a little while. Never time to match by your skill. With less dumb, strange thoughts, more akin to a full blown revelation. Revelation life is not out of your choice. At least give it a try. Hey, it was one last day, my tired dog. Let's make this quick. Objections. Hi. Okay. So struggling very well. Put the beat of that old over there. Baseball bat. Okay. It's a fighting style he gets with a bat, a pair.
apparently, if I'm understanding this correct. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> uh, wait, just a second. Shifty-eyed man. This guy has a name, you know. Okay, slugger style. Oh. Strong defense potential of the bat offers. Just like they'll be staggered by an attack who's about to put himself against the team's assault. I guess it makes sense to use a bat and you can defend yourself. I'm not even taking any damage from this. That's pretty good. from Ajima. What's that, Nevik? Mm. With you use the uh, bat so well, you're quite an, the interesting uh. fellow. Using one back when I was running raids of the competition. I think I've improved since then, though. Hmm. I knew you could find it. Not know the spur of the moment selection would get you far, uh, far against a fan. Shows what I know. I think what do you think about bat work? Flying colors, of course. Precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. I'm not really interested in conventional stuff. Not a common dealer plotting off what the first scavenge. So what do you mean? It's quite close. I enjoyed the chance to escort you, explain what I do. Alright. Hi. Shop Dragon and Tiger. Oh, really? A Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Okay. But he's also a smith. Gotcha. Yes, Inky. It is a ferocious shork. It's my Halloween costume. I'm very scary, you know. How are you, Inky? How's it going? Mm -hmm. How's life and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my wife, uh, Long Ho. <clears throat> Long Ho? Ho? Yeah. I wasn't trying. I wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it? Hi. Guess a hand forged by me, bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order. So you say an arms trader, you're, you're a smith, is what you're saying. This is amazing, I'm very fearful. Yeah, it's really scary, you might want to be careful. Terrifying outfit, not gonna lie. Explain how this, uh, I go about making weapons. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> So on the globe looking for rare materials and such. That's mm -hmm. Treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that, actually. Nice. Mm -hmm. Private arms lessons. Okay. That was only a test. Huh. Should I need spot by the day, yeah? Give me the house special, would you? For a side of business, too. Can you wait? I fix you a feast. Huh. Nice. Oh, and your health heals. Okay, cool. So I have, like, a smith guy? Interesting. What do you have? A knife! No! Uh -huh. What now? I need to tell you to spread uh, the word of business. We also have to keep uh, vigil over them. Keep a couple in some kind of trouble. Uh -huh. I'm sure the details, but now their shot may draw the ear of a terrible foe. Is that supposed to mean? Whatever, when you think of it, perhaps by sending them out in search, that sort of thing. Alright. I'm not the edge of yours dull either. I guess I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting my fighting styles a lot quicker. Uh, I'm getting them pretty immediately, I guess. Oh, hello, child. Dog. Okay. 
Um, is heading into the wilderness? Yes. To train. You know, for training purposes. So many rift. Damn, I just run into side quest after a side quest. Holy shit. We're in the middle of Tokyo. This is Osaka, actually. It's. I'm telling you, we're sold out. But, but please, there's gotta be a way. Look. So I can't manage to pull in from under the counter. Please, the begging respond is all I need. Oh, <sighs> oh no. What are we gonna do? Oh, uh, sniffle. Let's see that that guy. All right. Yeah. Everyone knows there's a city, there's a forest right in the center of Osaka. Well, we are in the middle of the city. That is definitely true. I'm also just being. A little, little pedantic to be silly. Oh, Matia, Majima. Uh oh, not guys in poor, poorly dressed suits. Dario, my. Odessa no mon yatte yu tara, kokoro atari aru yaro. Odessa. のぞみの引き抜きなら山形と話はついとるで。支配人が納得しても俺らが納得するか。よりによってうちの。How do I know? Is there like a point I will know when they get locked? ええ、どうしてるやないか。へ。あんた、お客様は神様やいうて。客に土下座までするらしいやないか。夜の帝王かなんか知らんが、なっさげない話やで。そんなに金が欲しいか。客には通用しても、俺らに土下座は通用せんで。ま、試しにやってみてもええけどな。<笑> お前らの言うとりだ。<笑> Do him, boys. Oh, God, they're gonna do him. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I like this baseball bat, by the way. This is great. Holy shit. I like this baseball bat. Holy shit. Majima just whips out a bat and beats these guys. Nice. なんなんやお前は。お前ら仕返ししたかったら店に来いや。客としてなら土下座でも何でもしたるわ。好きにせ。ただその後どうなるかは保証せんぞ。お客様は神様やからな。there's <laughs> so zero pressure. Oh, okay. Nice. That's good to know. Like a free mode. Also he's like just make sure you pay your tab. <laughs> Majima apartment. In the back of an alley. Seems appropriate.
and it is somehow even more dull than Kirus. It's empty. It looks vacant, if anything. Like, Hiro's apartment was, like, small, but he had a lot of, like, you know, it was cramped. It was messy. It was, like, a 20-year-old boy's, you know, apartment, something like that. Oh, it's that old guy from before. Ugh. This gang stalking This Majima. Wow, we completed chapter three? That was like barely any time at all. What? Oh, I was really, f I, I was so fast. Is he being watched or is he paranoid? I'm pretty confident he's being watched. Proof of resolve, chapter four. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's being watched. What the hell is that? Who's this buff man? The tiger tattoo. Oh, Yodai. Oh. Oh, Majima. His bro? Guns. Oh, Guns. I know that. I, I, I saw the three years, guys. <laughs>相手は上野義晴と出所直後の上野義晴を都内のラーメン屋で襲う。そういう計画ですよね。実はあの計画ちょっと問題がありましてね。予定を変更させてもらうことになりました。このまま襲撃に向かえば同島組長や島野さんにも迷惑をかけること
お前やったらそんくらい分かっとると思っとったがな親父兄弟は佐江島はどうなったんですかうん教えてください親父道を外した極道の行き着く先がこのアルルだ。Oh. Well, oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a raw, that is a raw picture. I want to give him a hug? Majima? Aww. Yeah, ha uh, Hanaya, it's like a envy demon or something, right? Holy shit, Majima. Okay, like, you know, I felt, I felt bad for Majima before. Or like, I mean, I liked Majima. I like, I feel bad for him especially now is what I'm trying to say. God. Dude got like, hella tortured. His sworn brother probably got killed. All because he like refused an order. Dude, what the fuck? I'm not sure. Oh, I see that guy. Okay, Majima's had a tough life. I can fix him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sure. Can't intervene. Okay, good. I got a baseball bat. I wish America had tissue packets handed out. Same. We don't get, we don't have shit in America. No tissue packets. Hmm? Huh? Oh, hi, Squid. Bleach. Huh? huh? What's all this then? <laughs> Pay tax every time we buy something? The whole country joy. And there's just huh? people. If you're cut, it takes so long to keep calming people down. Yeah, you vulture. Politics? Oh, please do this one now. Paying over some heat for the tax issue. Is this a good side quest or something? Guess my lucky day, run into a set of a bitch beer catcher for the sales tax on all of us alone in a back alley, no less. I don't like your tone, sir. Of course, the general populace that I'm here to tell you, we're fucking pissed. <laughs> right. Japan literally didn't have a sales tax at the time, huh? It's a public opinion. What the oppression feels like. Calm down, violence is the answer. Don't do <sighs> this. About to boil over. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, what's all this? That, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Last time I checked, Majima's not British. I don't think. <laughs> do I do this side quest right now? Hmm. 
Hi, Surface. Hello, this guy have a little pride, eh? You know the cocker this cockroaches? Pencil pusher deck one came with the sales tax. Sales tax. What? You don't watch the news? The tax they're trying to start changing next year. Every time you buy something, they're gonna charge you two percent more as a tax. Isn't that right? That is some bullshit. This guy's a douchebag. That's highway robbery! <laughs> I love it, oh my god. Oh, I about lost it there for a second. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that. I totally understand why to piss you off, but being this guy to pulp is a good thing. Sales tax go away. So. Huh? Everybody needs to know that their people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Power to the people. Solution, you're part of the problem. If you want to suck up the, stick up to this mosquito, then we'll show you the power of the masses, too. Really, F was blowing steam. Sure, see how far that gets with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole! Out of the line. Won't happen again. Bye. Hi, Scout. <sighs> All right, a sure fizzles fast. I know. The band, those people are out for blood. What? Let me, can I buy you a drink of snakes? It's a good name. I'm a Jeep. No need for any thanks. Yeah. Totally obsessed. Got a work cut out for you, though. Some kind of political big shot. Power, but I'm in a position to steer the country. <sighs> it's about annex taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. I'll take all the government, even if you're careful, people are still gonna be pissed when you see roll them. I'm trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You gotta take some pride in it. <sighs> think so? I'm happy with the new tax, but only the logical level. I say how emotional they get about it, well, it was daunting. And sales tax is only tip of the iceberg, more tax on the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. More taxes on top of the sales tax! <laughs> I said it's yet, but we're considering a more effective way to generate revenue streams. Tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some proposals. As everyone's making good money these days, can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands on the pie. This seen first hand, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if we can really come up with a tax that policy that everyone would live with. Oh my gosh, the fireplace only wants to go over the hand, yeah. Good for the right balance of a lost moment. Is this where Majima helps the government, uh, helps the government tax people? Like what you're trying to do, but I'll take care of the country. That's all right. You can have what's more. Mom, yeah. pushing up. Wait, views on taxation. What? With another subject of taxes. It's really perfect, you see. This is the subject here. Perhaps somebody who's completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. All right. What do you think? Please, Majima. It's no exaggeration. The fate of the country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me your advice on taxation policy. <laughs> all right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You and let's talk some taxes. I can't believe you roped me into doing a tax side quest. I don't like economics. Oh, someplace more appropriate. Sure, lead the way. Damn it. Look, all I'm gonna say is, uh, taxes are probably okay as long as you use the money to benefit the people that are paying the taxes. Right? There. That's, that's, that's a very lukewarm stance I can have. This, is that enough for you, Mr. Politician? <laughs> Keep in mind you don't know the first thing about tax policy. Don't hey. much for me. It's like what I asked you all. Um, I know you'll have some unique insights. Not bound by typical conventions. Okay. Or strike gold or copper mine. Just make sure I completely lead the dark to the basic question. Do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? 
to keep the people down, to collect on our debts. Provide public services. Public services, right? right that's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, and police. Fire departments, so much more are paid by taxes. They pay the services for the people need to survive. Yeah, right, okay. They know how to build roads and bridges and keep them working order, right? There's more to it than that. Also serve purposes as it pertains to general wealth, but we didn't need to go into that as much as detail. Why did you guys tell me to do this quest? <laughs> I don't want to do economics. <laughs> That's a lot I don't know. I'm just interested in where the tax money goes. It's always good to know more about taxes. Getting proper schooling here. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. What do you miss? We're in a position to collect your taxes for the people. What would you tax? I know what Sado-san is. I know what adult entertainment is. Tobacco? I don't know. Sure. Charge taxes on tobacco. Interesting. Since government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, government monopoly, there's actually been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay the tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. You're gonna check up taxes. It's the non-essential stuff you want to start with. People might even be more likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? Uh, yeah. A tobacco yeah. tax. Yeah. Tax is 200 now. People a bitch them own, but I think it's still four. They'd still fork over 300. Interesting. At the 400 mark, though, I think I'd have a long, hard thing about each pack being worth it. <laughs> I'm considering cutting back on my intake, too. What, oh, 500 pack? I'd probably quit cold turkey. At 500? Did we raise the increment? Mm -hmm. What are you mm -hmm. What do you think would have potential for taxation? Something that's closely tied to everyday living would have best potential. Excited to ever live in, huh? Pretty shrewd. <laughs> Economic side quest. Help. Also, hi Ashley. How's your beautiful face? Uh, this is some, this is some one slur shit. Oh god, not the one slur fan. <laughs> How bad can they be though? I can't believe we literally are doing the one slur side quest. Damn, it really be like that sometimes. Already on 2011 Tumblr, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much for the raid. I super do appreciate it. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Sammy. You're Zoom, you're Zoom, you're Zoom, you call me, and then my ship is all about positivity, coming vibes, me siblings for everybody. I mostly play Final Fantasy XIV, but we're mixing it up a bit today. Uh, I'm a Final Fantasy streamer, but I'm playing Yakuza 0 because I was told it was very good. Mostly by um, uh, this girl named like Max Poetic or something. I don't know if you've heard of her. Um, but I've been told it's a very good series and that I should play it, so here I am also playing it. Um, I also have a Halloween, it's our Halloween stream today, and uh, I am in costume. This is my very scary Halloween costume. I'm terrifying, because I'm a shark. Get it? Like, I'm, I'm just very... Rawr. Um, I'm also uh very good friend. Me and Ashley are very good friends. Like, 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 good. We're good friend. We're very good friends. You know, just like some... Some regular old gals who are also pals. Uh, roommates, if you will. <laughs> Just gals being pals, you know. Uh, but thank you for the raid. I super duper appreciate it. How are you? How's it going? History books will call us roommates. They'd be like, those two girl bosses kind of be roommates, though. Uh, and Quantum, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. hope you're absolutely having a quality day, because it might be a bit more quality. Love you so, so much. Welcome. And hi, Cosmic. Hi, Robin. Hi, Harishafant. That's a beautiful name. Harishafant, your beloved. I have a Harishafant emote, actually. I have a... Uh... Ooh, run right there. Mm -mm. Also, hi, Tiki. Hi, Gail. Mm -hmm. And hi, Norse. Okay, I think I got everybody. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, so we're not going to one-slur this bullshit. Ga gasoline? Japan has a train system. I guess that's a good idea, right? Mm -mm. Oh, there's a gasoline. Yeah. Gasoline tax? Why not? But the car's obviously living it up here. Why not skim a little bit more off the top? Or show me a uh, chat and ask them where they were in the MSQ and they hadn't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, beloved. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Sloppy. Sloppy. Uh, beloved, thank you so much for the follow. I super really appreciate it. I hope you're absolutely having a lovely day. Because if I never lovely, love you so much. Welcome. I'm in 3.5 right now, and it was pain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I miss him, too. I miss him, too. But yes, I have, I have an emote dedicated to him, because he's one of my favorites. I just got into Heaven's Word. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, why not people... Off the top? As the gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum. People have experienced price hikes before. They should be used to the price group, actually. Original tech tariff gas. Yeah. It's really remember his taxes, but much notice. What's all the mutter in? I feel yeah. like either. Or not, I think it's a fantastic idea. Definitely follow up on it. 24 days to bear. Bear! Bear, please! Bear, no! Bear, not my kayak! Definitely follow up on it. Oh, good to hear. Jeebus, anything else? Have anything else to say about that conversation? Yeah. All right, let's say about a sales tech. These gifts have balls riled up about, yeah? We gotta start paying 3% on top of everything hey. we buy, right? Yes, that's how it works. I'm sure they could go up at that rate, but why wouldn't you get more yeah. pumped up? That'd be impossible. 3% tax cause that much outrage, people would want to tear me apart. George Moore would probably end it in yeah. open revolt. No, no, no. I had a chant. You didn't think it. People are pissed because you're spraying a new thing on them. You had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. Long game? Millionaire is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about the shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, oh, the next thing I'm bitching and moaning about. That's when you start gradually turning the screws. Let me hike it up a little bit. We get more blubber in. We won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time they introduced the tax. Want to know why? Because we'll be getting used to getting screwed. Damn. Hi, Claire. Speaking of bears, it's Claire. Wow. Uh, also, I hope you enjoy Heaven's Word Tiki. Uh, it is a great X pack. It is not my favorite X pack, though. Stormblood still is a very special place in my heart. And, like, Shadowbringers is really good, too. But, like, Stormblood, that's where you meet my husband. Though, to be fair, Shadowbringers is also where you meet my husband. And my other husband. I have a gaggle of husbands. They're just as a white mage, which has been very scary for you, but Shork is good. Hi, Siri. How are you? I'm very scary. Hey, another Stormblood appreciator. I love Stormblood. I will take no criticism on Stormblood. JK. Th they're... There are some problems with Stormblood. <laughs> There's definitely some problems about it, but I, I do really like how it's a very human X-Pack. Zubi building a, har a ha harem of husbands and wives. Do you have a wife, though? Um, I mean, yes, I do. Uh, I do? I'm not sure I'm allowed to comment about her because uh, she's uh, kind of dead. Um, a huddle of, hus of hubbies. A huddle of hubbies! I had all hubbies. Oh, that's really cute. Um, but yeah, uh, all of the women I think I've had a crush on in FF14 have died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they've all fucking died. <laughs> so here we, the, here we are. Rip my Brita. Oh my god, that feel when they kill your wife. They, yeah, I... Look, I'm not saying I had a low-key breakdown when she died. But, sh I, yeah, that kind of happened. I'm not gonna lie. I, she was my favorite. She, She's one of my favorite NPCs in the entire game. And we only got her for, what, two patches? It's not fair, dude. It's not fair. I miss her so much. And the fact that they keep bringing her up to stings. Ugh. And they've already accepted it's a little worse. The fact that they're, uh, life doing what they do. That's rough, buddy. Well, up the cash, you gotta plan a really amp up the sales tax. Yeah, I'm getting goosebumps. Damn, does Vegeta just create the sales tax for Japan, apparently? I think you're terrified, actually. Are you even a visitor? <laughs> you really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. Hey. No, no, no. Not really. It's like someone to be raised. How high do you think I should go? <sighs> Sorry, 3%. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Ooh. 
let's do something a bit more modest. Yes. We burn 5%. I see 5%. The burning represents other people. That sounds appropriate, but I get the feeling that it'll be a temporary solution. I think I'd be pretty comfortable with it personally. I'd be pretty pissed if went higher. We shall three to five and waited for a little bit longer than hiked up proposed eight. That eventually we'd water around your breath, Tao Chan. Sorry, I lost my voice. Okay, eight percent was the right one. Hmm. Be with you. Wealth of ideas. Glad it was useful. Put those Yakuza games. Are they any good? Hi, Garaka. Uh, they're really good. I I'm I'm really enjoying this game. Um. It's very different than what I normally do, so I know a lot of I know a lot of people are gonna kind of bounce from it because it's not Final Fantasy, right? Uh, that's kind of what I do. So I know a lot of people are gonna kind of bounce from it because it's not Final Fantasy, which is fair. But like, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's got a very like, it has a very human approach, like Final Fantasy has. It's still an RPG, and it's a pretty good RPG too. Like, I really appreciate the way the characters speak and talk and, like, the relationships that they have. Because a lot their relationships are very human in, in their own. And I gotta say, too, Yakuza 0 had me hooked in the first hour, 30 minutes. Versus Final Fantasy 9, that took four, five hours to get me invested. Right? Granted, you know, fucking Final Fantasy 10 got me invested in, like, the first 20 minutes. But, like, still. Right? Like... This, this game really gets you hooked, and it really helps you care. It's very easy to care about the characters that are presented to you, because they're very human and natural, and you can kind of uh, understand and kind of empathize with what they're going through, you know? They're not, like, very alien or comedic. It's, it's, it's just very, very, like, normal people, in a way. I like it a lot, and I live for the drama of it, too. Can do my things? Ashwood. Ashwood. Thanks. Uh, you got the crowd here. Good advice. See ya. Can I give a business for a new country advice? Jack of taxes. Did I just taxes go up? Is it my fault? Nah, no way. <laughs> yeah. Single handedly kick off the collapse of the Japanese economic bubble. Wait, did I really? Is that. Whoopsie! <laughs> Magistrate causes economic downfall. Really? Is that how the, like, bubble burst? It's like through a sales tax? Sales tag was part of the burst. Huh. Really? People are normal. It's one of the symptoms of the bubble bursting. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know that. New information for Sammy. Like that. The bubble burst is because capitalism is completely unsustainable and dragged off stage by Shepherd's Crick. <laughs> gotcha. No, 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 no. It can't possibly be that, actually. What it clearly had to be was taxes. Because taxes are bad, and I think we should just, you know, not take care of anybody in the country, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Perfect. Excellent. What do you mean capitalism is perfect? It's so, such a good thing. Because it does things like create poverty. I mean, uh, innovation. Um. <clears throat> oh, well, being quest. Who? Hi. Um. I didn't expect people to Odyssey yesterday. 
Let's do my job now since you guys keep this place up swing. True, true, true. Surprise, wake up too. Why didn't you tell me the other girls were coming besides and uh, two other girls are coming besides Nozomi? Do what now? It was on Nozomi's level, but they're both veterans. Fantastic draws for the club. Plenty of luck. With the old regulars straight to us. What about capitalism? Capitalism did nothing wrong. <laughs> capitalism is when good and socialism is when bad. Checkmate, atheists. Um. Anyway, uh, it's funny to rib on it, but, but, but please don't get too political. I, I, I try to avoid politics and streams because uh, I just get really angry. <laughs> Very quickly. No, you're you're good, Tiki. Yeah, you know, you're fine. You're fine. It happens, right? This is why I got dragged off stage by a crook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, get some rest, Harry. Love you. Um, but yeah, it's, you know... Like, I'm pretty sure you know where I stand. So you don't have to worry about me being, like, shitty behind the scenes or anything. I just get really upset because holy shit. Oh my god. Um... Claire, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Fucking fight me. <laughs> Love you, hun. Uh, you exist, but it was, but it was when I left and truly dead. I was done. <laughs> oh my god, surface. Uh, I love it. Um, you know what? I will say this. I will say this. How about this? You ever want to hear my opinions? S join a... D I sometimes hang out in my Discord, and I'll be in voice chat. Ask me then. I'd be happy to elucidate you. I almost went into political science as a major. So I like to think I'm fairly knowledgeable about a lot of things. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, cool. But yeah, Majima single-handedly making you question your sexuality for the fourth time. Yeah, I mean, Majima kind of hot, just saying. Best part about being bisexual is I really, I, I just can crush on everybody. There's a reason I didn't go to poli science. <laughs> Some of the girls that trade, but there's a giant we came over on top here. I said negotiations must have been seen with the hole. That's what you pour in, as long as you're getting a little dirt under your belt, you can pretty much win the rest. True, sir, it's no wonder they call you the Lord of the Night. I uh, am a god, I went harder than I thought. Look at sticking me even harder, though. Got a few more, get a few more girls out of them. Could have done my research, giving the club a better look, and a few more cards in my hand to play with. No sense worry about it now, though. I'd like to work out a new ship schedule. Sure. Maja make me horny. True. My chosen degree is Majima studies. My chosen degree is the study of sin. Owner said the owner? I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. Look, I just got a degree in like, like digital media and communications. Oh. どういう風の吹き回しや。あいにく。あんたと酒飲むくらいなら自分の正面飲む方がまだマシ。やめとけ。あんまりうまいもんじゃねえぞあれは。バレシーノ。店は下の連中に任せとけば一日ぐらいは
That'd be interesting. Or we could do like social media marketing. What do you mean? We aren't friends, Zumi? Feels bad. Okay, look, I know you're joking, please, but uh, look, it could get a little scary sometimes. Flustered young woman, what am I gonna do? Oh, what to do? You, you! Just keeps... What time is the glam contest at? Glam contest is in about an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Hi, Diz. My comp side degree. Nice. By working in IT. Oh my god, Seeker, I love it. Hi, Rio. Excuse me. Alright, um, well, the thing is. What's the thing, don't you? Let's hear it then. Yes. What I'm trying to say is. Um, er, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it, spit it out. I have a favor to ask, can you please be my boyfriend? Huh? Say what? I'm not hearing you right. Yeah, please be my boyfriend. Uh, please, pretty please. Wait, just, just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like, you want to go to a couple, be a couple to go on dates? What the hell? That's exactly it. Uh, that's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only my boyfriend. Right, okay. Back it up a step or six. <laughs> what the heck is with this little lady here? Up to, every, uh, up to me on the street demanding I be your man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand him less and less. <laughs> Majima's like, women, damn. Gotta get together, can't know she's got me under my skin. Give her a strong answer, like, don't even think you w you've won, little lady. <laughs> Majima, homosexual, confirmed. Majima contemplating being straight. Majima can just be like, hmm, I gotta give her a strong answer. I'm gay. <laughs> let's let's start with that. Sorry, I like how to interest a woman. Huh? Oh, oh, okay, I mean, that's not a problem at all. But if you don't mind, could you at least set aside your preferences and just be my boyfriend for today? Gay Majima, gay Majima, gay Majima. Wait, no, shit, I can't kiss him then. Damn it! No! No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what are you talking about, girly? You ruined yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. I like Majima's bio. Oh, darn. Left out the details, haven't I? I, I, don't, I need to pretend to be my boyfriend. I'm actually my boyfriend. Suffered from success. Excuse me. Pretend. Hi. See, my father's busy from back home and he's failing to meet my boyfriend. For several years I was behind me to meet students who's arranged for me. I'm persistent, I'm finally fed up. I told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. Friend is thin, wears an eye patch, cool ponytails, dangerous air about him. Kinda like a blade of a knife. Why do you give him so many details? Why do you just describe me down to the buttons? <laughs> With that, I have to introduce him to my father. I just kinda make, uh, made it up as I went. I was saying, I have to see this boyfriend who's worthy of marrying you. So here I am and I've got a big problem. You're having a great day, are you? Make sure you have fit the bill. You don't want to act like you're your man in front of your dad. Why do you catch up fast? That's pretty much it. That finds out really have a boyfriend. Where's me to arrange marriage with some strange man I don't even know? Please, somebody else uh, looks like you. Could we do to be my boyfriend just for a little while? All right. This girl's on a pickle, all right? There's some guy that I don't even know. It's been across the way. Fine. Painting me yourself in this corner, but you like painting to be your boyfriend. Yes. So glad to lose hope. Huh? I was, uh, Coco. Please call me, uh, Coco-chan. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Goro Majima. See you then, Majima-san. I'll just you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met! That's taking things a little faster, don't you think? No, no, we can't pretend we're in a romantic relationship. We can just be so formal with each other. We'd have to make it this believable. <clears throat> you say so. I remember we had the cutscene of Majima getting tortured, and now we're pretending to be some girl's boyfriend? Should we get going, like right now? Exhausted already, what's this going? Fun, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner, the three of us. We're going to meet over dinner? Got nothing to say to your dad, Coco Chan. I think it's so we meet, shake hands, and let me go. Let me go, why don't you? Bing, bada, bing, bang, boom. Well, that won't work at all. 
I'll be reassured unless I show him the kind of man my boyfriend is. You have to go and show Gorcha and get a move on. Damn it. I was expected. Here we are, here we are. Nice! I love this. I don't think anyone can catch my GM on account of him being software. <laughs> That's what you think, Ashley. Is where I'll meet my father? Well, two requests. Does it reveal that you just put me by my, fr my boyfriend and don't anger him? Making him angry. That's pissed off easily. Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. On the bright side, she is really cute. And you know what? I do ship Majima with somebody who's like, you know, nice, kind of cute, a so like a bit soft. So Majima has some kindness in this world. I don't know. Maybe they could like, you know, maybe they could make it work. Is Kiru kind of soft though? Never not scary though. I think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. The baby's been more than he should, but underneath it all, it's as good as a father as I could ask for. I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. But a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. See? But saying a bunch of weird stuff will blow his load and be like, forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date, so let's avoid that. No problem. Do you have my boyfriend's backstory now? Excuse me, I need a backstory? Going out for six months, you're a dentist who likes to go out on drives watching movies. And your favorite food is om uh, omelet rice, okay? The omelet rice I make, okay? Uh, what's all this now? I give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, I'll make sure you got it memorized, okay? Okay, dentist, we like drives and movies and the omelet rice that she makes. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, kind of cute, kind of soft, kind. Kiru. <laughs> Is Kiru soft? I'm not sure he's soft. Those other f features, yes. I'm not making it sound like a walk by camera, I'm supposed to remember all those details. Fine, on the top. Six months, dentist. Drives, movies, omelet rice, she makes. Okay, boom. I'll give it my best shot. There he is. Dad over here. This has got to be so awkward for Majima. Damn. I'm trying to stat. Like a spa space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. We're trying this is my father. Hello, I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. This is the man I'm seeing, uh, Goro Majima son. Meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This can't make an impact on the rest of her life. I guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? Yeah, there you go, Majima. Door suppression's key. What do I open? <laughs> what? Okay, so there's... There's... There's a normal response... A kind of weird response and a completely unhinged response. Like what? Also, hi, Mr. G. How you doing, buddy? Like, like you could be like, oh, pleased to meet you, sir. To like, I'm delighted to meet you, father. To like, please make me be so soup. Like, okay, all right, buddy. Okay, so we're going with the first one because that's a normal thing to say. This is a normal thing to say. No, I'm not gonna be completely unhinged. I'm not gonna ruin this girl's life. We're gonna try to help her. We're gonna try to help this woman, okay? I don't wanna ruin her life. Mr. Sir, Gora Majima. Majima, is that? So my daughter looks to you for uh, a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Coco has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Must be these days the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. Somebody can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima kun Nice. Gochan's not like those other stereotypical men. He just looks really rough. This pressure went well. The respectable type is a pretty slick man. The same surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who's tall yet slender waist, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, it's a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. <laughs> I man and a man who could actually exist, yet here you are in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I'd figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? Ha 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 ha. Chuckle, chuckle. 
they seem to be on good terms. Her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. I lost an eye in the dentistry accident. Bubblegum foam was involved. Please make me soup is a totally early <laughs> thing to say, as a human would. Exactly. Jimakun, Coco, and I have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? A job, huh? Coco mentioned the backstory she gave me. <laughs> so you could be like, oh, I'm a dentist, and go with the backstory. Or you could say, I manage a cabaret, which is the honest thing, but a little like, ugh. Or you could just say, I'm a Yakuza. Oh my god. But if you probably said I'm a Yakuza, this guy would be intimidated out of ever trying to question you. But let's go with the backstory. Look, I, I don't want to ruin this girl's life. I don't want to ruin her life. Like, if there's a quest I didn't care about, like, listen. <laughs> I don't want to ruin her life. She seems like a nice lady. That's right, I heard you're a dentist. Who you guess from your appearance? The face I expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. I can tell that often, yes? <clears throat> oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my Goro-chan. <sighs> just glad I remember Goro-chan. Uh, Goro-chan. Koko Coco-chan. Don't know the hack of a backstory. Silly Majima. Yes. I was wondering, how did you come to meet uh, Koko? Oh, well, that's, uh, uh... I didn't ask you. I asked Majima. But, tell me, Majima. How do you two get to know each other? What the? It's probably pretty deep. Is he on to us? I'll explain I'm supposed to meet Coco Chan in a way that uh, makes it uh will make it more suspicious. <laughs> oh, these are really good though! <laughs> Look, I'm really invested in the game, so I want to do things right, right? Because I care. <laughs> but right into me while eating toast! drilled her. I mean, I wish I was getting drilled right now. I mean, yeah. Uh, okay. I have to. I have to. I mean, this shouldn't fuck it up that badly, right? Right? Please don't tell me I'll ruin her life if I answer this way. I have to, though. I'm legally required. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anime. <laughs> Oh, Coco had a piece of toast in her mouth and she ran it right into me. Ah, that's how we met. Really? That sounds awfully like, like an anime. Uh, yes, it, it was like a scene straight out of a manga. She was uh, on her way to my, off, uh, to my office and, and, yeah, I turned the corner and wham! Toast everywhere. Go chan help me and uh, pick up the crumbs and then it turned out I was going right to his workplace. Jimakun is a dentist. So you're running to the dentist with toast in your mouth? Why would you be eating just before having your teeth looked at? That's pushing a little too far. Gotta be suspected something by now. Chibukun, I'm gonna put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Coco. I'm just so worried about you. So, so innocent like a child keeps you awake every night, worried about whether you've ever managed to live a proper, prosperous family life. <laughs> I would like to see the spooky costume. God. I'm not sure what I've walked into. Spooky co- I'm so scary! Look at me! I'm terrifying! Rawr. I'm so scary. I'll see you guys doing something fun. There's a fin on the back. It's a little hard to see, but they, like, can you see it? There's a fit on the back. Like, there's a fit right here. There's a little fit on the back of it. It's really cute. <laughs> toasty toast toast. Toast toast toast. Also, thanks for uh, the four months. I super duper appreciate it. Did you know that two plus two equals four, which is how much you've been subscribed for? That's Poggers. Thank you so much. And Epic, thank you for the biddies. Toast toast toast. 
Chris Bill McCall. That's adorable. Isn't it so cute? There's like a so there's like a tail too. Like here, I'll stand up and show you. I'm so scary. Like look, there's like a tail. Like whoa. Can you see it? There's a tail, and there's a back fin, right? And you can put your hands in these little sleeves that give you flippers. And there's pockets. I can't get my hand into this pocket. Go in there. And there's pockets. Look at that. So I can store things. Like my water bottle. Look at that. This could be like, I'm thirsty. Oh no, Sumi's being eaten by a shark. The horror! The horror! Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Store things in your shark pouch. Ah, yes. <laughs> Why are you so cute? I try my best. Actually, I hope you know, like, all future Halloween couple costumes are probably gonna look like this. Just saying. I gotta be cute. That's the whole point of this, right? You can look scary if you want, but I gotta be cute, okay? It's gotta be like this. Okay, cool. Blech. I literally have it no other way. Uh, true, you know you you know what you got involved with. Like, look, I might act big and tough, but I'm also just a pink-haired girl. So there's that. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I I think it's pretty cute. It's a real and it's a cozy onesie too. It's very comfortable. Mm -mm. If it was optional, I'd always pick it. Hell yeah. When do you act big and tough? I act big and tough all the time! I'm very big and tough, excuse you! I somehow miss it. No! I'm very tough! I'm intimidating. I'm really intimidating. I'm, I'm, I'm very- Ow! I have opinions. That intimidates a lot of people. A crookie onesie? Oh my god, that's lovely. I looked up to her. Yeah, I. No, wait. Uh, you know what I mean. Shut up. As many would love her and treat you well. Well, I have just given my blessing for marriage right this instant. Tad, uh, I need to ask. Jibuku, what about Coco? Do you find attractive? I just told guess I can't blame Stardust Futures on the line. I tricked him, but I told Coco. Coco, I go along with this. God, find a good reason why I find her so attractive. Ah, uh, yes, the scariest costume. Opinions. People are very. People are very, very opinion. Like, look, look. People are very intimidated by a woman with opinions. Have you ever tried to like, have you ever tried to like talk to a guy on Tinder and be like, I have an opinion about this topic. Boy, howdy, that does not get you laid. Just saying. Mm -hmm. I find a good reason to find her so attractive. She's innocent. Oh, it's so scary. All right, so we're not gonna say that. That's weird. Um, that's a normal response. Um, but this is it. This is with the backstory, so I feel like this is good. She's so cute. I mean, three is a very practical response. I, I think that'll work. And she makes a great omelet and rice. I love how great an omelet and rice she makes. This. No, I must agree with you there. The rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. Chimuku, is that all you see, my daughter? I don't want to give her away to you. I don't want to give her away to you. It's a delicious omelet rice that you want. You can just easily marry a cook. Dad. Damn it, tapping a Coco Chan's backstory backfired. That's the point of view. You'd want to give a guy who appreciates your daughter fully, not just for cooking <laughs> ability. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Sure, honey. Uh, don't fall in. Psst. Down to just being the old man. Damn, awkward. Jimaku. Yeah? I know I do who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Oh. Huh? Her lie? What lie? Uh, 
have no idea what you mean. What well, lie? <laughs> Good stop pretending. I knew this was all an act to the moment I sat down. Is that obvious? Even from the start, what gave us away? Tell you just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. Why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Mm. What was so desperate to convince me? It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? Aw, he's taking some accountability. Just because I kept pushing her into dates with those all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kokoa was still an infant. I raised her all alone. Without anyone's help. I tried to raise her well, so no one looked down on her for not having a mother. I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of staying on her own two feet. daughter to do this or that, and we're pushing her to meet a potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time to learn to let go. Wow. The truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? So today my daughter's gonna bring a real boyfriend to meet me. Now this might be good practice. to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah, it's not a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco-chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she's trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Don't worry. Yeah, it's pretty plain to see that she's a source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of uh, looking after herself. I want to prove to you that she can manage on her own affairs. Like, get married. Aww. Sorry, I'm back. Hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Kobe-chan. So, listen, uh, you don't actually... knew... Jima... Hmm? Coco. You did well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad. <laughs> I know, right? Our trend's a super guy. This means he'll stop trying to set me up, right? I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been off a long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. God, that quest got me a little teary-eyed. It was such, like, a silly quest. Um, it was such a silly quest, but, like, it's about, like, a very, like, normal, understandable relationship between, like, a father and his daughter. Like, seriously, like, this, this girl grew up without a mother, he grew up without a wife, and he still raised her to be the best that she can be. And, like, yeah, he's a little overprotective, sure, but, like, uh, who wouldn't be? Like, who, who wouldn't be in a situation like that? And it's clear that she cares about her dad. She doesn't want to disappoint him, but she also doesn't want to, like, have an arranged marriage or anything like that. Like, she just very much wants to, like, be independent and be herself. And, like, he acknowledges that. And he realizes that, like, yeah, I've, I've probably been a bit too hard on her. I've been a bit too protective. Like, she really is her own woman, and I need to, like, let her be like that. Like, like, I... I... <sighs> I'm so glad this quest line was like, took that direction instead of being like, oh, I'm her father. I'm in charge of her. I'm here to give her away to a man who deserves her. No, it's not like that at all. It's literally about like a father realizing that like, yeah, I need to respect my daughter's independence. And, you know, I've, I've been really like, I've been really like, you know, protective of her, but like, she's her own person and I need to like, let her go and just kind of like, let her, let her do her own thing. And, and there's no venom, there's no animosity, it's it's just so good. Like, you can tell, like, they really love each other. Like, they really, really do. Oh my god. It, Ashley, perfectly said. Like, literally, it's so kind. It is just so, so kind. 
It's so human. I... Like, it's fun for these quests to be all silly and stuff, but then they go into this very, like... Just emotional angle. That's not necessarily sad, but just, just... Oh my god. Dude, holy shit. I did not expect that when I decided to pretend to be someone's boyfriend. I'm trying to get an excellent job pretending to be my friend. My friend. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I'm gonna give you this. Thank you. Five pieces of fur. Oh, wow. I'm afraid my dad had any of these suitors. What a relief. That's the case. I just have to walk my dad to his hotel. Ah. Yep. I get a real boyfriend. Better do a proper introduction. So he, does so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Hi, Raven. Oh, I forgot something. Just give me a moment. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm? Something wrong? Mm. Mm. There's one last thing I need to say. I got to talk to. I went through the all the bother for my daughter's boyfriend just for myself. You're a good man. <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit. No, no, no. Not at all. That's why I'd like if you be my daughter's real boyfriend. What? Excuse me. What, what did you say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. Fresh help makes you think that's a good idea. Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely trust your future to you. Whoa, slow down. I'm, I'm having trouble believing my ears. You can just start by pretending, and that's fine. Heck, she, if she won't take to you, I will. Just, just say what I think you did. Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Ideal man confirmed. Give me a break, you two. I, <sighs> this is why I'm single. Oh my god, that's adorable. I love that. Kurumajima, oh. the ideal man. He really is, yeah? God, that was fun. That, that was a good bit. That was a good quest, too. Call me right away. Who cares? Where I can sleep. You buy my shoulder bag phone? Huh? No? That's not what you call that? Uh huh, uh huh. I'm sorry. Morgan has a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Alright. I get it. If you ever want to hear about it, you know where to call. Okay, bye. Bag phone, man. Huh. How does it know we appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? I wonder how much I had to beg for this thing. Boy. Just chatting the phone through that chunky bag you got there? Exactly. The next one is just using to talk. Your wild some kind of radio then? I saw that it's a real phone. It's called Bag. Who puts a phone in a bag? Eh? Well, the Raja, a foolish and spinnable mobile uh, telephone made possible through state of the art technology. I want people able to carry tele telephones on them all the time. Be able to connect with anybody, anytime, anywhere. Little well, telephone, eh? Crazy. What's the point of carrying a phone with you all the time? Oh. time? You can't see the big picture. This bad boy, you not change the home office or workplace. You even turn the cafe from the cafe into your workplace. Touch your friends and family at all times. You can call your mom up right now. Sure, I guess I can see the use in that. And you can see the light. <laughs> Does it make you want one? Go to the store and get uh, get to try the wave of the future. Yeah. You can just cost you an arm and a leg. And the future always comes with a tax. It's more expensive than I should be <sighs> safe. As much as I need, I'll stick the payphones with some peasants. As much as I enter a phone booth. Yeah. Let me make a call. Let's see. I should let you cut in this technology from my bag. Put a place here. Sure about that. So then, whenever an expanse future day, blah, blah, blah. No. I can't do the side quest right now. I'm going to picture a uh, conversation on my shoulders. Hand of space. Huh. Change make a call. My mask is so blind. Ugh. Look, I, I just want to save my game, sir. I should know it. I just created a new sales tax. Oh my god. So 
True, yeah, all right, yeah. Majima, responsible for creating sales tax. Congrats. Google telephone? Nah, it'll ever take off. Yeah, not gonna lie. I literally can't remember a time before, like, smartphones, even. Like, I... I... I can... I, like, can't even remember, like... My dog, what? Oh. <laughs> because they're upsetting the game. Nice. A stealth tax, oh my god. <laughs> Sympathetic of bad design, leave me alone. I had somebody yelling about something earlier. That seems like a side quest. Alright, I'm good. There's the guy. There's the dude. Sidequest vision to your eyes. It keeps happening. I can't help but ask. Just keep bumping into them. God, I want some. I'm hungry now. I want some Japanese food. That sounds tasty. こんなご時世だ。10万する服の買いすぎだの。100グラム1万の松坂牛だのなんだの。竹も荒かったくったけど。こんなボロい屋台の80円の大根が一番うめ。そう、can't <笑> Being real nice to Majima. Wonder why? 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 ふふ。まあ、わけわかんねえよな。極道の世界で親に逆らった奴は必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ。破門、絶縁。その辺ならまだいいが、ひでえ時には人知れず殴り殺しにされることもある。お前は穴倉
耐えたお前のタフさも信じられねえけど何より一度穴蔵に落としたやつをあの島野が救うとはなだが島野がお前を許したかといえばそうでもない穴蔵から出たお前は波紋も絶縁もされずに極道の世界から追放されたそして大門違いの兄弟分である俺にお前を預け敵として飼うように指示をした武闘派と呼ばれる島野がなんでそんなに回りくどいことをしているのか奴の目的は一体何だろうなさあ俺が聞きたいくらいや<笑>案外理由は単純でただ単にお前のケツの味が忘れられないだけなのかもしれねえな That's a fun way to word that. なんだよつまんねえやつだなそうだ一つお前に聞いてみたかったんだ、huh. なんでお前そんなに登場会に戻りてんだお前みてえな跳ね返りがこんなバスに耐え続けてまで I see the same. Am I the same? Hi, Autumn. How's it going? I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Sworn Brother. The Sworn Brother stuff's a big theme. The Sworn Brother is 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 a big なのにお前はそいつのために登場会への復帰を望んでいるそこがわかんねえんだ兄弟は塀の中で死ぬがためやないあいつは必ず戻ってくる俺を殺しに殺しにああ何でもないもう過去の話やとにかく俺はどんな目に遭おうがどんな屈辱に遭おうが登場会でのし上がるのあかんねえ。はあ、なるほどね。そうやって帰ってくるはずもない兄弟分の帰りを待ち続けてるってわけか。登場会に戻って、さえじが戻ってきた時の席を用意する必要があるつ。<笑>泣ける話じゃねえか。<笑>あんたには関係あらへん。まあ俺も大門違いとはいえ、シマノの兄弟には仲良くさせてもらってるからな。でもまあ、俺だったら自分の人生のすべてを捨ててまで他人のために生きる道を選択する気にはなれねえな。お前もいい大人なんだ。もっと器用に立ち回ってもいいんじゃないのか。Convince So, I know what to send them or a missing or a young out of go go get a go 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 I really hope we just get a fucking baseball bat at some point. Don't you want to die? Do 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 you want to die? 
最近蒼天堀で荒稼ぎしてる売春組織の元締めだ売春牧村はそこらの女子大生やら若い女を捕まえては貸せませてその上がりを吸い OK OK well actually whoever this is a fucking dick wad 見せしめに赤ん坊の埋めねえ体にされるって Oh OK alright I have no qualms killing this person やりやすくなっただろ All right, we're killing this. We're killing this bitch. All right, on it. All right, you do not have to convince me. それを調べるのも仕事のうちだ。マキムラは女たちにテレクラで男を連れ去ってる。探るんなら、末端の女どもから当たるのがいいだろう。テレクラでマキムラの息のかかった女を探す。中国とか。仕事の期限は2日だ。それまでに的を仕留めろ。もしそれを超えた場合、今度はお前が狙われる立場になる。Dude, you could at least give him a little bit of time. Holy shit! 楽しみだな。殺しの方法はお前に任せる。仕事を終えたら、この番号へかけろ。わかった。真面目じゃん。最後に確認しておくぞ。殺しに人数や相手は関係ねえ。一人殺そうが十八人殺そうが成人を殺そうがクズを殺そうが人殺しは人殺しやった瞬間真っ当な人生には二度と戻れなくなる街を歩こうが家にいようが人を殺したっていう記憶が頭から離れなくなる極道の先輩として忠告しておくけど殺しなんてやらないで済むならその方がいい当たり前だよな You're literally the one who. Oh my god, you're the one convincing him to do this, dude. Who's that? Don't you see? She's not going to be a good one. 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 Me falls great here. Don't miss. <laughs> like, this guy literally, like, he's so two faced about everything. Literally, like, wants to be his buddy, but then is like, hey, I need you to kill a guy, otherwise, you're gonna get killed, by the way. Like, it was rushed. It's good. I'll start tomorrow and do right. Tonight, he just needs to get to bed. Like, like, literally, just like. Literally, like, I want to be your friend, but also, you have to do everything I say. Yeah, I mean, he, he pulls Majima around in a very, like, puppeteering kind of way. It also makes me think Sagawa's in trouble. Like, he's acting in a way that is very, um... I don't know, in my, in my opinion, very, like... Flim flammy. So I'm sure he's probably in some kind of trouble. Otherwise, he wouldn't be going to like Majima to do this dirty work, right? And like string him along. He seems like a pretty well written character. Majima's smooth, but Saga was an eel. He is. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Like, he just, like, he's so good at manipulating Majima, but it also seems so intent that he doesn't. Want to manipulate the team. Like, it very much seems like he's very against that idea. Which is super interesting. Because he's still doing it, right? So that means he's got to have something somewhere that's kind of forcing him to do it, right? There's got to be, like, there's, he's got to be in a position where he doesn't really have a choice. Um, you know, which makes me think, like, somebody's coming down on him. Or there, there's some other level of des desperation that's making trouble for him. Desperation can be inferred from the deadline, too. Two days? That's almost no time at all. Exactly. What? Oh, you can fish? Nice. Um, yeah, that's, like, literally no time. If, if he really wanted this job to be successful, he'd give him, like, he'd give him a week at least. But I'm sure he does want the job to be successful. He just can't give him more time. Because there's no more time. Which is really interesting, because then it means then then what is it? What's pressuring him? What's going on? 
He, or he'd ask somebody who'd actually killed before. Yeah, he's gonna put somebody in such a desperate position that they have to do it somehow. Which is Majima. The only person he can go to. Because I'm sure if Majima fucks this up, Saga is screwed too. But from what? I don't know. Also, hi, Vele. How are you? How's it going? Shimano dealing with a non-normal method as well. Begs inquiry as well. That's also true. You're right. Shimano's using his sworn brother to go and deal with him on his behalf. Why is he not doing it himself? If he's such a big deal, if he's so important, why? Why then? And like Sagawa even mentioned that too. Sagawa even said like, I don't know why Shimano's even doing this, but here we are. Like... Why release him from the hole? Why make him the cabaret manager? Why milk all this money out of him just to have him go kill somebody? It doesn't make any sense. It, it's completely unlogical. Oh, man. Ooh, I am so invested in this. Rest until morning. Yeah, it's it's so like, 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 what the fuck is going on? Dude, there's something going on. Hell yeah, beloved. I love you, hun. Makamura, once I'm find this guy. Okay, in the telephone clubs for girls, my first ring. Time to make some calls. All right. Yeah. Good, good crime. It's a good, good crime drama, baby. Good, good crime drama. Yeah, seriously, like. I am just so invested in this. A lot of good people trapped in bad situations trying to figure out the con around them. Absolutely. That's exactly what's happening. Because again, like... Kiru? Kiro never kills anybody. He doesn't seem the guy to kill, right? Majima, though. Majima would kill if, like, pushed to the edge, right? And I'm kind of afraid... I think that's what's gonna happen. Majima's gonna go like insane, huh? That's what's gonna happen, right? He's gonna get pushed to the edge. And he's gonna go down this like spiral of madness. And all of that like put togetherness is just gonna absolutely fall apart. And it's gonna be really fucking hard to watch, isn't it? That's exactly what's gonna happen. And maybe him and Kiru meet up at some point. Or maybe they even fight each other. That'd be interesting. But I don't think Majima's the hero of this story. I think Kiru is. If anything, I think I think Majima's probably the villain. I don't want that. Ah, uh, no, I hope that's not true. Uh, nice grot email, by the way, Surface. Give me two hours, thank you. Watching your theory brain work is good as shit. Thank you. I like to think I got a pretty good theory brain. College age girls. Oh, if I can be lucky and find one. Hello? Oh, hi. Hey there. Hey, your voice is pretty damn cute. What are you up to? Now, just lying around. I'm jealous. You got the day off? Jimmy clearly has a sense for storytelling. Majitho, mm -hmm. I love your analysis and the way you change the camera for dramatic effects. Thank you! If you like this, Consider sticking around. I do this a lot, actually. I, I stream Final Fantasy IX every Tuesday. That's the current Final Fantasy I'm getting through, and there's a lot of theory crafting in that. Also, in my Final Fantasy XIV streams, I theory craft all the time as well. I I like stories. I like listening to stories. I like predicting and making predictions about them and following them along. I really dig it. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's 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 my prediction for the game. Uh, Kiru's gonna it's get what he like wants. Kiru's gonna be uh, the hero of the story, and Majima's gonna go down an absolute spiral of madness and become a villain in the story. Maybe not the villain, but a villain. 
Sure, hell yeah, I'm just sticking around. Hell yeah, beloved, I love it. Thank you so much. And Chris, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. Hope you're absolutely a uh, rad day, because my name is Red. Love you so, so much. Welcome. 20 days. I have officially bought uh, N Walker pre order, by the way. I officially bought it. Hi, Punchy Bag. Yeah, is that a Same onesie? So you're getting in on this too, Punching Bag. You're getting in on this too. Yes, it's a Same onesie. It's a shark onesie. It's very cute. And it's what I'm today for my Halloween stream. I'm very scary. Kid, that's off the mark. I guess it'd be too long to strike gold in the first call. It's gonna take a while. Oh boy. 90 minutes later. Yikes. I like that there's a fucking tissue box here. Uh, she sounds like oh, a あっこちゃんか。あの、元気なさそうやん。もっと楽しくおしゃべりしようや。ええ、せやけどめっちゃダサいやん。久々に学校行ったけど、速攻で受けてもうた。It is terrifying how Majima just flips a switch like that, right? College student. なんや自分、ひょっとして女子大生?うん。そうやけど。What other? おお。あ、ごちゃん、テレクラにはよく電話しとんの?せやな。うち退屈なんが嫌やから遊んでくれはる人を探してんね。ほな、外で会ったりとか時々な。会う合わへんはどないして決めとるんや。うーん、まあ
アコちゃん牧村はんのことを何か知っとるんかぜやったら超大手話聞かせてもらえへんやろうかああもちろん俺はするで絶対アコちゃんにも牧村はんにも迷惑かけへんどうやろうかほんまにほんまや、uh, ほんまや分かったせやったら今から岩尾橋に来て<笑>岩尾橋やな五郎さんはどんな格好してんのグラさんに黒のジャケット髪や長髪を後ろで結んどる目立つからすぐ分かると思うで分かったほな今から岩尾橋で待っとるで絶対来てやそしたら後で はい。Why is it there? Did you see there? I don't see anybody. Last n o o l Alright, that's me. Did you yourself down to see last night?、Mm-hmm. I saw you there. Ah. Sat at my pretty girls all day. You still go to the cabaret in your off time? You're real poo now, huh? Strictly business. <laughs> ah, no need to hide it. Now you're running for the telephone club first thing in the morning. You're real hard up, aren't you? How it must look. Is that a Lala Felly mode? I, I love that shadow list. I guess that's how it must look. Okay, what's your story? I bet you've been everywhere. I mean, so you've got business all these establishments too, don't you? Don't it?、Mm. Because it is, is enough for me, so I went up going from spot to spot most days. I'm a massage parlor to porn hut, and who knows where? Ah, shit, three times a day, that's not enough. How much jizz you got in here? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Reputation to pull. I feel like you and me are in the same boat. Yeah. The hell, we are. So stop、mm. me for a reason. I feel we're birds of a feather, that's all. We can trade tips. Can I get your mean info? Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah. But、oh, we're the cutest girls in town, huh? Who's good at what shop? That sort of thing. <sighs> I'll pass, thanks. Hank, I ain't that thirsty. <sighs> That's a real shame. Still, there's way more hotties around lately. If something to put some videos, I'll be sure to watch today for sure. What kind of videos are you talking about? In the private fo- photo video booth spot, right? Huh? By the soft cores they screen there. Huh? Ah. Every time I pass, I keep going on the street. I make a note to check whether she's put a video out. Damn, you've survived. I had a bold perv. I know you think the same thing if you saw some of these honeys. I'll have to take a look at some of the favorites going for look. If I feel like it. There's always some other spots around town. Come find me if you have fresh recommendations. Yeah. Okay. Sweet Akko, you have a bridge. Guess I have a bridge. Come find me. What the fuck was that all about? Alright, cool. Never gonna look at that again. Ever in my life. Hope I never see that man again, but somebody tells me I'm going to see him again. Right, cool. Isha t o o says something about the character's personality or a place in the story. I mean, I definitely believe that. It'd be kind of a waste of space, to be honest. Like, if you didn't have the tattoo be meaningful, that'd just be a waste. They're too, there's too much symbolic story juiciness right there. Want to check out the video booth? No, thank you. Maybe that's quirks. Where she finds me? Oh, just to look cool. Oh, she's got a nice red coat. Anta ga Koro san? No. Anta ga Akko chan ka? Yo, kite kureta na. Oh, kini. Is the weird guy in the background? h o t t o s t e Gay no jin yatte koto bareta? 
しもたやっぱりこない変装してもわかる子にはわかってしまうか自分のハンサム顔が憎いわあーええー、てええー、てサインやったらなんぼでも書いてあるからみんなには内緒にしといてな<笑>うちの考えすぎかこないアホな人が例の人なわけちゃうもんねあ例の人やとなんでもない優しそうな人で安心したわうちがアッコ He's pretty disarming that's pretty good ほな、早速やけど、そこらで茶でも飲みながら話聞かせてもらえるか。お茶うち、お腹減ってんねんけど。そしたら、飯にしようか。何食いたいんやうち、お寿司食べたい。寿司か。やっぱり女子大生ともなるとええもん食うてるんやな。そらそうやん。今時女の子とデートするんやら、予算5万くらいないと話しんだらんわ。フォローさん。社会人ならそれくらい持っとるやろ当たり前やないか。Like、学生が見たこともないような合成な飯、食わしとるわ。ほんまにゴロさん、わかっとるやん。ほな、寿司屋に行こうか。ほな、行こうか。I'll just be a cool guy and walk places. Like a cool guy. Goro san, o s u s h i s k i Huh? Uchi m e t c h a s k i a n e Uni to Ikrava, did Taita Bene. Death. Love her? I like, I like Akko. I really hope nothing bad happens to her. Okay, fine. We'll speed up then. Asuma, Asuma. Ma'am, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the h o ま、いいな、くせにしたら随分慣れとるようやけど。この名店よく来るんか毎日毎日何や。そんな犬でも厳しいんか。ムルマそんなあるはずないやん。いつでも好きな時にやれるのがこのバイトのええとこやのに。い
And maybe like my, my knee jerk reaction was right. They're basically just like rent a girlfriends. They're not prostitutes. ゲーセン。ゲーセンって。ゲームセンターのことか。不良の溜まり場やないか。ゲームセンター。ゲームセンターに縫いぐるみとかあんの。ゲームセンター。ゲームセンターに縫いぐるみとかあんの。ゲーム
Well, let's head out. Disco? Disco? あんだけ食った後でよう驚き。<笑> はい、タイムで。ちょっと見せてもらう。うまい。ゴロさん、ぬいぐるみ取るのうまいな。あんな人取れる人初めて見たわ。うおう。コンバット。なんや。There's a Clean my yard, uh -huh. son. You hide behind this bridge for a while now. Don't matter who's dancing here before, it doesn't mean you own the place. I'll take out the whole bridge. I got disco to get to. Is he talking about dancing? Oh, it's fucking Luigi. There you are. These young men look 50. The place we could go at it. My afternoon consolation. Constitutional. Take in the city. Some trouble. But those punks are doing a good job uh. blocking the way. In this face, that's fine with me, but I wish they'd hurry up. Mm. Up some, in the rituals of their kind, doubt they will take such a violent turn. Oh. Rituals? What do you mean about those guys? For the time, the practitioners of the breaking dance. The new breaking dance! Ah, yes, because it's fascinating with these. Am I gonna get a fucking break dance fighting style? Am I gonna get a break dance fighting style? Is that what's about to happen? I'm gonna flip. I'm going to flip. I, I'm going to just fucking. I'm going to fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Haas. How are you? How's it going? That's it to a certain dot of its spell. It's like got a horde of birds. Ah! That was even funny with dancing there. If they've begun to watch the performance closely. Hey, hey. Come on, come on. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna break dance! It's a break dance fighting style! Ah! God, Machiba's so fucking hot! Oh my god! He can be like. Ah! Is that sharp order if I could pull some yeah. of that off? Looks like it's my win. The bridge that is, was and forever remains property of A. Rishi Kuro. Uh. Sugoi. Thank you for now, but this ain't over. We're gonna up the game and be back for blood. <laughs> <laughs> Seems the boys run a frock one for the site. The intriguing way established to pack the order. Let's just go, playing Koi Majima. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Uh -huh. Today's first of the site of the yeah. Reminisce even. Damn punk, all right, yeah. I don't have actually. Mm. Those who's another thing to look for are better sparring. We're going to go with this biscuit. <laughs> the dates for the young lass. To our former old man in many arenas. It's <laughs> not it like that. Please, my friend, I found a new venue. A Shitaba Park. Mm. I'm going to get some time. I'm going there with my train to occupy me until then. Fair enough. Huh. Majima obsession began a whole last chapter go lol. It's fucking great. It really did. Like, I. God, I. Listen. Do I have a thing for slightly unhinged men? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, anyway, um. Let's just go up before something else comes up. I agree. Slightly. Slightly. I can't fucking believe. Breaker. I can't fucking believe I can just break dance now. 
and I can fight people with my breakdancing abilities. Oh, fine. There's less upgrade options. Interesting. Some, uh, Sammy, why do you like Graha and Xenos? What do they have in common? Sammy, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Zen I mean, Majima Ryan reminds me of a certain somebody, just saying. Hero kind of too, actually. This is totally Urianje. Is it me? No, sorry, Autumn. Oh my god. The IP room, I guess. Ma Raja? This is a mini game, huh? Mini game, huh? What if I died? Does that help you? He is a little unhinged, that's true, yeah. And Emmett, too, he's also unhinged. I just got a thing for those boys, I don't know why. No? お親と喧嘩して家出するような不良娘と仲良しで止めてくれる子はめったにおらんし。今の せやからその間の人に会った時はすぐにまことさんのポケベルに連絡入れんねん。そしたらすぐに飛んできてくれはるから。ほう。それこっついのあ、うちおどってくる。なんや、ビップルーマもうええんかディスコに来たらやっぱり踊らなそうやろ。うちお酒の目変し。そういうとかまだまだやな。インテレスティング。シーズホームレス。アイディンノーダット。は
I pray dance it should I saw on the bridge. Alright. I'm gonna bury you. Menacing man. Hold that attack from a freeze post trigger an attack. Trigger a attack followed by a combo to finish freeze pose. Oh, called double break. Tap repeatedly. Tap. Oh! Okay, this is dope as shit. Oh, this is so fun! Oh, this is really cool. I sound like fucking Mario. That's cool as shit, dude! Oh my god! Did you do a speed? ま、ざっとこんなもんや。読んだらほんますぐ来てくれんねんで。嘘なの。マコトさんな、普段生体師やってはる。そう、部長南にある保護司会館ってお店。He's a chiropractor. Not work properly with a mouse? Nah, it's all good. I just had to figure out what it was. あこちゃん、今日は大きいな。ほんまに助かったわ。ほな、こっから先は本人に取材してみる。あ、うちが言うたってこと内緒にしてな。ゴロさん、ええ人やから特別に教えたけど、女はまことさんのこと内緒なん
Oh, she'll probably be fine. If I feel like it. Huh. Bye bye. Yeah, he sums up like how Sagawa described him. Yep, something tells me the hood's being pulled over, yeah? The cash turned into a Saint Goron Sabin. What's the deal with this bad tattoo? Well, everything turns out good for Akko. I think it will. I'm not so sure about Makoto, though. I'm killing Mako Makamura, that's the job. Those are the exact words Sagawa used. Sagawa said saint or scum. Yo, he fucking knew. Fucking little bitch. God. I'm gonna finish this night. God, he's he's a little bitch, that's what he is. Hi. Oh no, not petite youth. Huh? Oh, Bridge was dunking it out with the big dude in your break dance or whatever. Boom, son, I felt that. Oh. Well you're exploding for. That was sick, yo. Those movies got me seriously bugged. I didn't see the best certain Boreal to offer, but your skills are to the curb. I had some random stuff that came in my mind. What are you talking about, man? It was a bolt from the blue to me. Shout to the guy. You just gotta join my crew. We need you. Yeah. The crew, yeah. Hey, Rishi crew. You join up, you'd be kings of Stone Bori. No question. Hey, Rishi's the crew name. Hey, Rishi's my name. So, yeah, welcome aboard, dog. Don't <sighs> waste my time playing around with some of your friends. Nah, yeah. Friends. Play it, fool. For real, throw it out every day. We can take it this world, the Japan, the world. You feel me? Damn street. Lots of folks come through to so support entertainment. Big Blue's got a mix, you know? Got one of those cats' attention. Who even knows? Play me as I come through the club. Like, yeah. Right? More out of the way than anybody else. See, this menacing music is playing. My ass on TV is totally possible. When I figured out all that, how exactly? Oh, yeah. Let's watch a, uh, your battle, dog. We talk about it'll move and a pump up volume bit. We'll be crushing every other crew in Osaka. It is for a whole bunch of sick new moves when you get uh, under your belt. You'll be unstoppable, son. I'm dancing, but I am pretty curious about where I can take this fighting style. That's right now. I want to right behind the Shokoku West. Uh, you decide you're in. You come see us. Cool. Uh. Little drop, I don't get your hopes up, though. Things with you <laughs> All this medicine music's playing. Because we're at like, no, leave me alone. Let's know. Haha! Can't stop me if I save. Wrecked. Nice. Okay. That was fun. Some really like uh actual shot for speed ones there. Nice. There's some really uh intense music playing. And I kinda dig it. And I'm sure this next bit's gonna end the chapter, probably we'll move on to chapter five. But that's gonna have to wait. Uh that's gonna have to wait for uh Thursday, actually. Because it is four o'clock. Sega's so loud. It's four o'clock. So that means I gotta go uh do the we gotta go do our glam show now. Uh which should be kinda poggers, actually. Same way to kick us over the cliff's edge just to leave us hanging there. Yeah, no problem. That's kind of the point. Just finished my costume. Nice. Uh no, I mean, just that's kind of how it ended up. But, I mean, if you guys want to see how this how this whole thing goes, tune in on Thursday, 4 o'clock Central. If that's what you want to see, or don't, up to you, I guess.
Poggers. More thanks to everyone here. Thanks everyone for the real good stream. Uh, no problem, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm not done streaming, but uh, I will see you later. Uh, beloved. You have a beautiful name. Uh, stay good. Stay good to her, Shafan. I'm gonna go sleep now. Okay, good night, Ashley. Yeah. That was fun, though. Yakuza is really fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really good time. Mm -mm. Really do recommend it. I'm excited to play more of it on Thursday. Also excited to do... Kind of, I, I'm so interested where this Makoto thing is going to go. I, I was low-key tempted to end the chapter, but I knew that was probably like another 30 minutes or something. And I was not down to do, I, I, I was going to be horribly late for the fashion show. And that's probably not in good etiquette. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy news, um, I did indeed finish my uh, video, by the way. Uh, for those of you that are perhaps interested... Um, but I finished my Black Mage video. Um, and I have not uploaded it yet. I pro I might upload it tomorrow, actually. Either tomorrow or maybe, um... Either tomorrow, maybe maybe Monday, so I can talk about it. No, no. I'll think about it. Uh. But yeah. Did you do a guide on BLM? Uh, a little bit, yes. Uh, I did a guide specifically on uh. Media tour BLM. It's, the video is literally titled, Everything You Need to Know. Uh, Everything You Need to Know About Black Mage Before Endwalker. So it's sort of a prep video to get you ready for what Black Mage is going to be like in Endwalker. Um, I give my opinions on the class. I give my opinions on the Endwalker changes. Oh, that's a nice line. Um, I give my uh, thoughts about rotations and what rotations are going to be using. And I also made some funny little bits, too. So even if you're not super interested in Black Mage stuff, I think it's a pretty funny video. It's like 10 minutes long. It's not super long. Uh, but it's also like my first, like, real YouTube video. Um, plot location is... I think... Can we do FC? FC plot? There we go. Um, but yeah, so we... Uh, so it's like my first real uh, video, and it's just designed to get people prepared for Endwalker, but also to be kind of funny. Uh, also be like kind of a funny, silly uh, little little event, uh, little video too. I I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it's also got some footage of the media tour, some Endwalker footage that's put in there about um, like uh. Like, of, like, my time on the media tour. No spoilers. There shouldn't be any spoilers. Uh, like, I mean, there's zone spoilers. Like, you're gonna see the backgrounds of some zones. But there's no dungeon. I took the dungeon stuff out, actually. I originally had dungeon stuff in there. Because it showed me doing my rotations really well. But I took it out. Um. So, like. None of that. What the fuck is that dragon? Nice. Um. So, there's, like, no dungeon spoilers. There's just, like, some zone spoilers. And not, and really not even that much. Uh, but yeah, it's designed to help people get ready uh, for Endwalker and stuff. And also to be funny and silly. I made some funny and silly bits. And I'm very proud of them, quite frankly. Ah! Um, I have all the EX bounce. Oh, nice. That's cool. I've never seen the dragon before. I'll say hi, Will. Um, and Mackie, thank you so much for the 13 months. Did you know that uh, 6 plus 7 equals 13? We're just having ones we've been for. That's kind of poggers. Illy. Alright. Willibur, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see. Let me, let me find you. There we go. Hello? Oh, oh, hello. Hello. How's it going, Willibur? It is going. 
It is. It is definitely going. Uh, I definitely did that thing where I was like, all right, I can't miss the glam contest. Can't miss the glam contest. I logged on three hours early for the glam contest. What am I going to do? Hunt trains. So this is the hunt train mount. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. It's a good mount. It is. It's a very good mount. Uh, yeah. And then the one that uh, Wake was riding is the mecha dragon you get for doing all of the EXs for Shadowbringers. Just like... Um, this one is the one you get for doing all the EX mounts for All the horse, yeah. Yeah, the, the Kirin, yeah. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're very, very shiny. Um, the Mecha Dragon is also that size, regardless of how big you are. So when Thunder rides his around, it's also that size. Nice. Oh really my god, funny. really? Yes. Uh, it's one of the invariantly sized mounts, like Behemoth and Twin Tanya and a bunch of the others. Hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. So, are we ready to, to do a glam contest? Oh, of course. Uh, do you want to... Do we want to do our outfits up here, or do you want to do them down there? Uh... I mean, we can do them down there. Go, okay, Pog. I'll, I'll well, then we're moving there. the party downstairs. Uh, but yes, me and Will have both prepared Halloween costumes. I've prepared three, actually, because I couldn't pick. I would have done more than one, <laughs> but the top Lucky for this Vandalab. costume required help uh, from uh, shoutouts to uh, Shafu and Alchemy and Zamoka, who helped me run a dungeon unsynced for... Just shy of two hours till this chess piece finally dropped. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah, that's the real end game is glam. Real end game is glam. All right, girl, let's see what you got. Okay. Uh, also, Paige. Paige, how are you? I just saw Paige. It's a bun. It's, it's a, a bun. little bobby bun. Paige, how are you? Are you here for the glam show? Do you, do, do, wait. do you have a Halloween costume? A spooky yeah, costume? Uh, did you, you did know that one lucky underscore bun, the page, is now a proud and upstanding member of Rainbow Riot? Wait, did you transfer? Yeah, page transferred to you and walk with us. Really? I got your reaction on camera. I'm so happy. Yeah, page, page is actually a pog super in the, in the FC now. I didn't even know. I, really, page? That's so cool. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I need to go look this up. Oh my god! I had no idea! <laughs> Paige made me really late one night when I was on doing something else. <laughs> She's like, hey! Hey, do you, um... Can you invite me to the FC? And I was like, what, aren't you? And he was like, no, I, I transferred. So. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. You're gonna looking. have to... Yeah, it's like way down. Hog officer or Sal. Yeah! Oh my god, Peg! Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Yay! Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I'm, I'm, I'm very super excited. excited for Endwalker. That's dope. Uh, speaking again, just gonna shamelessly plug myself again, but yes, I have made an Endwalker video for Black Mage, and I'm very excited. And if you are on a Final Fantasy break, like Zazara said, feel free to watch it. Again, no spoilers. I except for some background spoilers of, like, some zones. But nothing else. There's no dungeon stuff. There's no enemy stuff. It's just, just me, actually hitting a practice dummy and showing off abilities. So yeah. That's, in my opinion, the best kind of thing because then we're not distracted and we can just focus on like good players playing their rotation well to like understand what's happening as opposed I to like. I never said my rotation was being played well. <laughs> um, it's you playing Black Mage. I will be shocked and appalled if it isn't. Mm -hmm. Fair. Also, the shit I'm saying is probably a bit more important, but uh, that's all. Awesome. I also got some silly images, so it's gonna be great. But anyway, uh, fashion show. Um, so do you want to go first or should I? You're already up there. You should go first. Okay, I'm very tall. Um, and then you are yes, we are, we're at the tall. we're at the place we're at the free company. So if people want to stop by, go for it. Uh, free company plot. That's where we're located at exactly. Um. And yeah, people can trickle in. That is a okay. I might also just do this once again, just so people know. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. I can also ping the, the link shell. Mm -hmm. Halloween. Uh, but yeah. okay. So, 
I have a few glames prepared. Uh, and the first one is what I was going to go with originally, which is my this black mage glaim, because I want to do a witch glaim. I was using my black mage gear, and I think it's a pretty good usage of said gear. However, you know, I'm kind of disappointed with it a lot. I was going to use the Godia top, but the Godia top's really bulky and, like, really, like, not great. And I was going to use a different hat that's a much pointier witch hat, but it's, a, it's an off, like, burgundy color, and it doesn't match any of the black mage clothes anywhere at all. And it's really sad, so I'm kind of bummed. But this is like Wait, my. Did it witch not outfit. die? No. Wow, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nope. I can totally understand that pain. Yep, it does not die. So, witch hat suck. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is sort of like what became of the uh, sort of what became of our witch gland, which it looks okay. It looks yeah. okay. It's like it's like everyday practical witch, right? This is like this is like the 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 um closet cosplay witch, right? This is like what Eris would wear to go out to a bar if she was feeling witchy. If she was feeling witchy, true. But it is not my most uh infamous and powerful glam. Uh my the glam probably the proudest of scraping together is if I can find oh here. This is Ooh. my vampire glam. I was gonna say, are you a vampire? I am a vampire. Um, speaking of which, I did actually watch the whole Vod Vlad the Impaler series on extra credits, by the way. Yeah. Um, appreciate the fake accents. Uh, Matt had a lot of fun with those, a lot of fun. And then we're, we were so happy that we got to butt that up together with actually covering Dracula and So You Haven't Read. Cause everyone was like, Vlad the Impaler, you mean Dracula? We're like, no, we mean actual Vlad the Impaler. We're gonna talk about Dracula later. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but hell yeah. No, so this is my wish... vampire outfit because I really like this top and I have the demon uh, the demon boots and the demon pants and I think the reds really go with it together. And I'm just yeah. kind of like, yeah, you look like, Eris looks like a vampire right now. I contemplated giving her horns, but I'm like, eh, nah, it's not vampire -y. So we just got a nice vampire look here. The camera angle even it. makes her look like she's got fangs, too. It does. It's great. She's so spooky. Spoops. And then I have a glam prepared for a game I recently started playing. And I realized I could do this because the Black Mage gear is a reference to this character, I believe, into the original Black Mages. Um, that is, if I can find it. Uh... Too many plates. Yeah, too, too many, many plates. <gasps> It's my, it's, and also if you look at my minion that I have as well. Yeah, it's, it's a Gigi Glam. Yeah, Gigi, and as I know Gigi's progenitor now, it's Vivi. Or Vivi, yeah, Vivi's the FF9 character. Yep. So I'm like, oh, I could just be, you know, Diana Max to, uh, Vivi. It's fine. Or Gigi. Either or. Yeah. But I'm pretty proud of this one too. And this was, That's... this one was super easy to do. This one was so easy. Yeah, that's mostly dye work, and you got the colors really well. Vivi got taller. Vivi did get taller, yeah. <laughs> got really it's tall. Just, I just like that we refer to this as being Dynamaxed. Mm -hmm. Dynamaxed. You know? Yeah. Somebody cast Enlarge on me, and uh, I got very embiggened. Yep. Morg. Morg. Yeah, this is Imagine. my uh, Vivi Black Mage gear, and I think it looks cute, and also it's level 70 Black Mage stuff, and I get it now. I understand why it was weird. Like, I got it in Stormblood, and I was like, wait, why is it blue? I don't get it. I understand now. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my uh, that's my pose here. And uh, those are my three glamours that I made because I couldn't decide. Nice. But I will probably... Bye drink people's blood blah, 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 blah. where it there it is there's so many glams i have so many and i use all of them is that there we go right okay i should take my seat oh i decided that i would go for something a little more in the classic vibe of halloween traditions rather than going for like well I mean, it's kind of like yours. We kind of match, right? Because um, I, I thought that, that I, could, I could be a mummy. You're a mummy. Oh, that's adorable. I'm a tiny mummy. And I even, I even have mummy's little mummy. 
and I'm very, I'm very small <laughs> mummy. You're very uh, but small yeah. mummy? But yeah, I'm a very small, cute mummy. I wander around and gnaw on people's ankles. But yeah, this is the Bone Wicker Soother's chest piece. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it was the last piece of healing gear that dropped from Swallow's Compass after two hours of running Swallow's Compass oh nonstop. My God. <laughs> it was a lot, but I got the card too, so there's that. Hey, it's there you go. It's all worth it. Anyway, brains. Uh, I, wait, that would be if I were a zombie. What do I? Hmm. What do what do mummies say? Uh, uh, mummy. Uh, yeah, right. Mummy, you mind, sorry. Mummy? mummy, sorry. Mummy, sorry. <laughs> that? Does that, does that count? How, does dare, it... how dare you? <laughs> Accurate, but how dare you? Mm, correct. Um, but uh, yeah, that is fantastic. I'm glad that we got both went like classic <laughs> Halloween looks. Yeah, well, because I think a lot of people, well, the, the theme two before this was a cosplay right mm -hmm. and so a lot of people got cosplay stuff out and that's cool right like there's nothing wrong with doing a cosplay for halloween but like also i wanted to i wanted to go for something uh, a little more classic mm -hmm. i think just because we very rarely see that we often see like tributes to other like final fantasy games or characters here or whatever and i just wanted to be like spooky thing if i could have been a skeleton i would have been but i could not figure out a way to do it. damn yeah. it'd be like that sometimes it um, do, in fact, be like that. Hell yeah. Uh, well, uh, now that we are, uh, I think, situated, um, that I think we can uh, get this show on a road. If uh, Are there yep. people who would like to go back there for us? Um, yeah, the, the, the backstage is currently empty, so if you are if you are competing, you should be back here, in, in here. Uh, wait, hold on a second. I can do this. You should, you should be... Right, and then oh, I can do this other one, right? Okay. Also, hi Roro. Yeah, I've been like partnered for like a year, uh, but I appreciate uh, I appreciate the excitement. I hope you're doing fabulous. Welcome. How are you? And Emeki, thank you for giving that sub. Very kind of you. Mm -hmm. Also, welcome. Uh, okay. Are you uh, ready to go? I am. Uh, apparently, the food that I scheduled to be delivered much later will be here soon, so I'm gonna have to duck out for like 30 seconds at some point. But oh, that's we are ready. Fun. We are ready to go. Um, do you want to announce what the prizes are for the different places before we begin? Of course. So, uh, first prize is a heck of a lot, but I'll start. Third, third prize is a 75k gill, right? Mm -hmm. it's sort of our typical, and a second, our. Uh, second place prize is uh, 175. Again, typical. But first prize, I'm sorry, you're getting slightly less money this time. You're gonna get 300k. Uh, but that's because you're getting an extremely exclusive item as well. Uh, you're getting jet black dye as well. Yep. Which uh, sells for about 400k. So you can make up even more money if you want to sell it. Or you could just use it, because I know how rare Jet Black Die is. It is extremely rare. Yep. So if you want it, by all means, just win. So yeah, that's like the that's like the super prize is like uh, yeah. Jet Black Die. Jet Black Die is roll nice. Roll nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. And I got them, and I was like, yeah. Cool, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, and uh, I have our scoring spread sheet already. Poggers. Uh, just a second. Let me make sure I bring mine up here so I, I remember what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I was actually going to use... Actually, I don't know if I should. No, I just have... you. Uh, all right. I got... Yeah, I heard about that, Roro. I'm sorry. Um, new place immigration shit. Yeah. I'm still learning a little despite it all. I'm very happy to hear that. If you need anything, too, just let me know. I... I, I, I heard kind of through the grapevine about uh, at least some of that stuff, but I hope, I hope it's all going well, and it sounds like it is. If you need anything, just, you know, feel free to let me know. And I totally get it. Lots of it going on with you. Lots of it going on with me. I'm moving about four times within two months myself. There's been a lot going on. So I totally get it. I completely understand. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I love you. Alrighty, okay, so I am good to go now. I got my sheet up. 
Okay, uh, cool. And just to remind people, the criteria we are grading on is presentation, colors, theme, creativity, and personal bias. Presentation is how you present yourself. Colors are the colors that utilize in the glam. Theme is how well the glam fits into our current theme, and creativity is how different it is and how unique it is. While personal bias is exactly what I said it is. It is my personal bias. Um, so, with uh, if that is all that we have to do, could our first yeah. contestant come on out? A oh, please. Oh, I got this. Which I think, yeah, do you want to shout them? Yep. Pause, champ. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So it should be pretty simple. This glam, this like Halloween contest too. I think pretty good. There's a lot of different ways people can take it too. Like you could be like spooky. You could be like spoopy. You could be like scary. You could be the most terrifying thing. You could dress up as Rowena. Like that's terrifying. <laughs> Dressing up as Rowena, especially as someone who's been doing the relic glam, would be absolutely terrifying i would pop a toe panic and run mm -hmm. that's a good idea yeah um hold on i'm gonna go i'm gonna have to go see what's going on I'll touch your fine mm -hmm. uh yeah no exactly um uh, feel free to i mean you can we're friends on discord you feel free to dm me if you've got anything uh again i'm more than happy to chat all right <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what are I, you doing? I feel like this is sold by the socks over the pants look. It is. Like you can see the socks on the pants. You're you're just you're a suburban dad. Yeah, it's just dad. You're it's, a suburban just, dad. This is fantastic. Oh my god. I love this. This is phenomenal. Wake, you, you truly are an absolute goddess of glams. You're just a fucking middle, you're just a suburban dad. This it's is just fantastic. A dad. Oh no. my God. <laughs> and, and, and we have child, right? We have Reen, who is, who ah, is. I didn't yeah. see the Reen. Yeah, no, there's a Reen. Why do you even have your hands on your hips? Yeah, no, you're, it's very. Fuck, and the, and the, I guess this glam just wins. Um, <laughs> baseball cap. Holy shit. Okay, so on a scorecard, I will uh, say this certainly. Presentation. I feel like you could have done a little bit more. A little bit more. The dialogue is nice. The ring, nice. The hands on the hips, very good. Could have been a little bit more, though. So I'll give you a 15 there. Very good. Mm -mm. Uh, colors. I You used khaki, and that is like the dad color. Khaki with like the blue Hawaiian shirt, blue uh, blue top. The like sort of the weird mismatchy colors that dads wear for no reason at all. Um, perfect. Twenty out of twenty for the colors. Theme. I mean, truly, middle-aged dad, middle-aged suburban dads, terrifying. But it's a great Halloween costume. I I love dad themes. When it gets safer and if I get the chance to actually see some of my friends in person, I really want to throw a dad party, just a suburban dad party. I think one of my friends might actually be doing that for their birthday if, you know, again, everything permits. Where you have to come dressed up as a dad. And like a suburban dad party. That'd be fantastic, actually. Uh, I wanna I wanna do something like that so bad. So this is this is perfect, right? Like I really can't fault you. You're perfectly on theme. 20 out of 20 for theme. Creativity. Hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're fine. Creativity. Yeah. I'd say 18 out of 20 for creativity. There, It's pretty good. Not a lot of people came ready to be a, a suburban dad to this costume party, I am sure. But I have seen it done before. It's not something that's so different that it would completely catch me off guard, you know? Like, I, I've seen it before. Um, so 18 out of 20 on that. But personal bias, 20 out of 20. I adore it. It's fantastic. So, 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 so good. Love a suburban dad. Um, just this, this stuff just get, it tickles me. It gets me so good. There's a ream too. It's so great. I love it. Oh my God. Uh, so that is, I, like I think, a 90. 
93 for me, I believe. Okay, cool. Run me back the first three scores. Uh, pre presentation was 15, colors 20, theme 20, creativity 20, personal, or creativity 18, tw personal bias 20. Yeah, that's 93. Perfect. Uh, what, also, what are your thoughts, oh, esteemed guest Willibur? Uh, my only thought is that I'm disappointed that this is inside so that you couldn't have rolled up in the, uh, in the car. Ah. Uh, because that would have made it better, right? But technical limitations. Uh, I, I do think it's great. I think it's just a, it's a refreshing sort of, it's a good Halloween costume. I like it's it. a very good Halloween costume. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. If we can get a round of applause for our lovely Lady Wake. And her fantastic dad costume. That's real good. I love it. That shit's great. Perfect. Thank you so, so, so much. God, I love that shit. It's so funny. It exactly, is San, isn't it? It's way more fun without the weird, like, vague illusions. It's great. I See, I, I, love, I love doing the Glam shows because it's fun to see, like, how creative people can be and like come up with like unique stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's, that's cool. Oh, Aww. you're a witch. Oh, uh, cute. <laughs> that's also true. Sam. Hello, I am the basic witch. You are the basic witch, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a running theme going. And that is that everyone knew that we would be tickled the most by, like, meta Halloween costumes that are um, sort of commentary on Halloween costumes themselves, like Dad and Basic Witch. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Can I use summoning magic? Yes, I can. Summon Zagobu. Can I summon Gil? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> No matter my plight, I'm here to celebrate the night. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like the rhyme. Rhyme's adorable. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let me increase my font size just a little bit so chat can see a bit better. Uh, or is I have shrunk. I have shrunk mine so that I can always it's it's so weird seeing everyone else's HUD. Anyway, uh, right. yeah, scoring thoughts. Uh, you know, it's adorable. It's super cute. I love the little rhyme. I love the emotes. I love the gobu. I love the words. You know, I I love all of that. Very cute. Um, uh, cute little witch. I love it. Very nice. Uh, really, really nothing to hate there. Um, I think for presentation. Uh, I think I'll give you. I think I'll give you an 18 out of 20 there. Uh, definitely, you can tell you put some effort into it. You did a little bit. You had your own little thing that you came up and you did, and I think it worked pretty well. Very adorable. Still could have been flashier though. Still could have been something a bit more crazy. Still more options. But I thought it was very good overall. Uh, I like it a lot. Colors. I don't think I could really fault you on the colors. The white and the blacks and the oranges. They all work. Kind of very atypical witchy vibe, right? Um, and then you got little cat whiskers on too, which is a nice touch. Um, very nice touch. You got a book, you got the feather hat. You, you really, honestly, you're a summoner too. That's a nice meta touch. Uh, so yeah, I, I'd say uh, 20 out of 20 for colors. That works very well. Uh, and theme, you are a witch. You're a spooky costume. That's perfect. Um... 20 out of 20, really nothing to complain about. Uh, you are an atypical witch. So congrats. Uh, I love it as a costume. Uh, and creativity. Hmm. Creativity. I'm gonna say, I will give you a 14 out of 20 for creativity. Uh, the little witch thing is very cute. It's a very good vibe. You can tell you put some effort into the costume and you did a bit with, like, how you, like, managed it. But, um, I feel like there's a lot of ways you could, uh, present a witch. And there's a lot of ways you could do more with it, too. Uh, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. 
Uh, but I have seen witches before, and I have seen cute witches before. But you are still very cute. As for personal bias... Honestly, I really like it. It's very good. Uh, it doesn't trip my trigger... Uh, like maybe some glams would. It doesn't make me cackle, but it's very adorable. I like it a lot. Uh, it's something, something that I would wear, like, to an actual Halloween party. Party, like, I would do that, right? Yeah. But, uh, overall, I like it a lot. Um, I think I'll give you, I think I'll give you a 16 out of 20 for that one. What about yourself, Wilbur? What are your thoughts and feelings? Uh, I like it. I like the... I like the idea. It's really cute. I also want to point out that this is a level 53 glam. Um, so uh, additional restrictions uh, on what you can do. Uh, I thought that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. I would say so as well. What does that bring the total to, Willibur? Uh That brings our total to 88. 88. Thank you, my finely mummied friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the lovely glam. Appreciate it lots. <clears throat> we can get a round of applause for our little witch uh, and her Gobu companion. Yeah. Adorable. Uh, now it's my job to do this. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a cryo. Oh, oh you're. My oh my god. Okay. Your it's ranger cryo. That's actually really hard to do without the cryo glam. Holy shit. Okay. Wait, what's the cape? That's a uh, <laughs> crypt lurkers, I'm pretty sure, right? Right, but the Crypt Lurker top is glammed as the Traveler's Jacket. I didn't think the Traveler's Jacket had a cape. Hmm, apparently it does. Oh, it's, is it, hmm, uh, I'm confused. Okay, cool, great, awesome. The examine menu fails me. Hmm. Punished Krile, punished Krile. This is creative, I like this. Yeah, it's good. I, I, didn't, I didn't think we were going to get a Ranger Krile. She's got a bird on her shoulder. I like it, I dig it. Dark Souls Cryo. <laughs> Dark Souls Cryo. Damn. I really do be darkest before the soul. That is, that's a nice touch. Yeah. I didn't expect somebody to be like, all right, we're going to be like a Dark Souls Cryo. Uh, you got the cat ears and everything. She looks very edgy. This would be Cryo if she was in like a, like a, this would be Cryo if she was in that new Final Fantasy game that's coming out with oh, chaos. Oh, the one. Chaos, <laughs> chaos, chaos. No, it's, um, this is Cryle from the Dark Universe, right? Where not everything went according to plan. Everything didn't go to Keikaku, so Cryle's here. This Cryle totally watched Alpha No die in her arms. Oh my god, no. Don't say that. <laughs> Look, I got some predictions for what's going to happen in Endwalker and who's going to die. Don't say that. Oh, I, I absolutely do too, and everyone hates my number one prediction, so that's fine. Hing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the judging. Presentation. You know, I gotta say, not a whole lot for presentation. Yeah. Not a lot there. Wasn't bad, but you did present yourself. It was okay. I'd say it was perfectly average, so I'll give you a 10 out of 20 for that. Uh, you kind of walk on stage, you say, hey, I'm Ranger Cry. And this gosh, was built with an hour and a half of whatever I had in the wardrobe, which is fair. I understand. Yeah. Uh, but it was a solid effort. And you still present yourself uh, well on the stage. So I'd say 10 out of 20. Uh, just not much happened there. And also you do have the rate, like you do have the Hawk minion, which fits. Mm -hmm. Colors. Uh, does Kryle's outfit have red in it? A little, yeah, under her cloak. Yeah, I, I think there's like a little under the cloak, right? Uh, checking, please, and thank you. I might need to check uh, myself too. The, the inside of her ears is red. We don't, we can't really see under like the skirt of her jacket very well. Um, but she's also got like blue in her coat, doesn't she? 
She does well. She's got blue in her skirt, so the coat is yellow, and she's got like a blue dress on under it. Um, okay, and her then, boots like, are black, I believe. Uh, her boots are indeed black. Yes, the boots are actually pretty close. Okay, so I think with that contemplation, uh, colors are pretty good. You got the main color, which is yellow, and that works pretty well. Um, and there is red in the cloak. I think keeping the red in the cloak is great. I think the boots could have been dyed black. Though. And maybe even the pants dyed blue. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, but I think there is a, some slight misses on the color. Uh, nothing terrible, but I'd say 16 out of 20 for that. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, just again, like I feel like there could be a little extra done. Theme, 20 out of 20. This is an interesting glam choice, and it works pretty well. Ranger Cryle, Dark Souls Cryle, Spooky Cryle. It works great. Halloween glam yeah. context. That's perfect. Creativity, also 20 out of 20. I never expected this. You've impressed me. I like it quite a bit. Um, so I really dig it. It's very good. I like the uniqueness of it. I like how it's clear that you like, uh, we're like, oh, I'm gonna do a cryle thing and it's gonna be unique. And like, I love that. That's great. It is inspired from a different character, but it's taking that character and like putting a twist on it. That's really fun. So I like it. Uh, mm. And then final category, personal bias. Uh, I love Kryle, she's great, but I will never admit to white mages being perfect. So, that's an 18 out of 20. You're just jelly. Not really, Will, not really. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's all right, we're gonna- I'm just we're gonna, honest. We're gonna, we're gonna turn you around to the Blood Lily eventually. It'll be great. Never. Hey, look, with Sage coming Blood out, Lily. don't think I'm ever gonna be turned into white mage. No, that's fair. That, that is totally fair. Um, I'm just very excited that I get to main white mage while everyone else is being a sage because it's Uber cult. I'm just excited to main reaper. I mean, black mage. Yeah, totally. You found a class that's edgier than black mage and you immediately had to pick it up. Exactly. It's great. Oh, man. <laughs> but, don't, uh, <laughs> Chad, don't let the uh, the pink hair and the short costume fool you. This one's an edgelord. Hell yeah, I really am. I, I'm just an edgelord that's covered in pink. I'm like a bubblegum edgelord. But uh, yep. uh anyway, no, yep. Willibur, what are your opinions on this uh, costume? I love closet cosplays. I love them. I think they're one of my favorite things. For like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a restriction, which is what do I have around, and do something with it. Uh, and I really like that. And yeah, I really, I really like this whole setup. I like it a lot. I completely yeah. agree. It's very unique, and you know, those those glamour chest uh, cosplays are usually the most unique. Find it, like having that restriction, like mm -hmm. doing something cool with it. Yep. Um, and yeah, that's why you, you know, scored a 20 out of 20 on the creativity is very good. And mm -hmm. uh, again, if you weren't a white mage, maybe you would have gotten a 20 out of 20 on personal bias, but uh, <laughs> we know I can't give white mages anything. <clears throat> Rude. Uh, so that brings you to an 84 out of 100. Congratulations. Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. And I think, her believe it or not, of applause. That... Very good. I think that may. I mean, check back stage. Oh, okay. Cool. Great. Right, 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 right. We have one more entry. One more. Yep. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a horrible frog in my throat, and I'm trying to slurp down Boba to keep from coughing on your screen. No, you're totally fine. Maid outfit? <laughs> Okay, you're yelling at me. Visibly upset. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. I better be keeping this place clean. Are you just an angry maid? <laughs> what? That maid. <laughs> A tea with punch? I love those. Oh my god, those are relic weapons, aren't they? Those are the Petal Knuckles Nexus? I have no idea what those are from. Those might be from T, actually. Are those T weapons? They got the chains. Holy shit. Damn. ARR relic. ARR relic, really? That's a... Okay. Wow. That's really cool. 
I actually really like that, like a lot. You know, Gaslight Girl Boss, keep clean. <laughs> Sam came up with that one. That's pretty good. Damn, I mean, I feel like I feel like I should give you a good score because you did an ARR relic. <laughs> Weeps in going to do all of them. Oh God, good luck. Yeah. We've got we've got we've got a plan. There there's a pl it's not a good plan, but it is a plan. Look, I'd rather prog you Cobb for 24 hours straight than grind those relics. And I would rather grind those relics than look at you Cobb. So <laughs> we fit well. It's a good it's a good match. <laughs> That's true. Um, well, I guess first up on the list, uh, presentation. Uh, doing, doing the, pull, pulling your fist out, pulling the tea kettles out. That's very flashy. I like that. It's a good eye catcher. Uh, plus your little dialogue lines. I like that too. Um, I think I'll give you a 16 hour 20 for that. It could have been flashier, but it was, it was definitely effort was taken in what you did there and you did a, you were ready for it. And those, again, those tea kettles, uh, did you know that was a relic, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. There's a side. It's, it's not just the monk relic there's the side thing you can do for the kettles according to Karaka. i'm looking this up now while we're talking because i need to know hmm. well they look pretty good to me as for uh colors um i mean i like the colors everything matches the green goes well with the green of your hair the green of the dress uh, the golden kind of hue of the tea kettles i think works with the white as well um you look pretty good you're also a femro so we love that um Everything just looks pretty damn good, actually. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think 20 out of 20 for the colors. I don't think there's really any way to fault you. Uh, you're also made wielding tea kettles, and uh, you somehow got that to match. So, congrats. Mm -hmm. uh, theme. Is a punch made a Halloween costume? Yeah. Fair enough. All right. So, um, I like the, yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Sure. I'll give you a 20 out of 20 for that. Uh, you made me pause and question it, but to be fair, really anything can be a Halloween costume. And that's for creativity. Hmm. This is pretty creative. Um, Again, I'm not sure how Halloween-y it is, but it is definitely in theme with, like, being something very unique. I think I'll give you a 16 out of 20 here, too. Um, it's definitely, like, it's its own thing. Uh, and, like, it's clear you came up with it, came up with it yourself, so, like, I really appreciate that. And I think it works pretty well for, like, what you got going there. Um, but I've seen maid dresses before. Um, I've not seen tea kettles before. But I've kind of seen the whole ensemble before. Look, if you go to Ligma Laminsa, you can find any old cat girl in a maid dress. Row in a maid dress. <laughs> good taste. Uh, but, like, there's so many of them. My favorite AFK spot is surrounded by maids. Now, that might sound like a blessing. It's not. I'm pretty sure they're all straight. So I can't even do anything. Um, and, like, they're all like, nya. And I'm like, nyo. So, like, you know... I can't say that I do know, but I believe you. Yeah. Look, living life is ephemeral. Get a lot of really interesting tells. I absolutely believe that. Oh, yeah. You hang out in Ligma Laminsa long enough? <laughs> this is the look of ephemeral who's seen some shit. I can I tell you that. Did tell you know you there's well. unicorn hunters in Final Fantasy XIV? Anyway. Uh, so, moving ha! on. <laughs> Ah, no. Huh, no. I've been propositioned no. by said cat girls before. That's oh, generally okay. what I'm referring to. Um, though I think that's like bannable now. Um, um, they did release a clarification on that. Uh, the, the the but the code of conduct is changing. Yeah, like 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 ERP is not bannable, but unconsensual ERP or solicitations, I believe, are. Mm hmm Um, so ha. I'll report those cat girls then. Uh, not really. It's fine. I don't care. Um, but personal bias. I love the tea kettles. The maid stuff, I'm not going to lie. Maid stuff doesn't do much for me. 
But I love the tea kettles a lot. Uh, so I think in the lieu of things, I'll give you another 16 out of uh, 16 out of 24. Uh, personal bias. Uh, I like the tea kettles a lot. I like the punch made. It's a good vibe. But made is... Yeah, I mean, I see it a lot, right? Um, but I like it. I mean, it's, it's just charming. It's cute. You look good. And Ro. 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 Yeah. Hi, Seraphie. As a sun cat girl, may I am embarrassed? Don't be. It's not your fault. But also, there's a million of you. <clears throat> Remember, everybody, uh... Sun cat girls measure in the millions of players. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Millions. Mil millions. There's like 24 some million active players that play this game, and the cat girls are millions. One type of cat girl. Uh-huh. That's so fucking many. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, Willibur, what are your thoughts are on Punch Made? Um, super impressed with the tea kettles. Super, super impressed with the tea kettles. Uh, that's about all I got. That's as far as I got. Which is just, I'm, I'm impressed that you did all the stuff to get the kettles. Um, and that's kind of cooking my brain. But yeah. Um, I think it's really good. I think your color composition is good. I think the outfit's good. Um, yeah. All right. Congratulations. Let's give a clap, a round of applause for a Mountain. Excellent cosplay. Or excellent uh, Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. A very popular season. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, and I believe that's everyone. All right. Is there anybody else who had yet to go but had not had the opportunity to get back there? I'm just going upstairs to get our, uh, our prizes. Anybody else? Okay. Somebody just went back there. All right. Um, perfect. Anybody else that we're missing? Entering late is completely acceptable. Don't worry about it. I mean, Aspen are going to be the last Mooncat boys. A uh, Serapy, I can't wait until there's a moment where, like, you log on and, uh, like, Aspen's Fantasia into a Bun Boy, and you log on and you look at him and you're like, No! How could you? And he's like, I'm sorry. And then it starts raining and it's dramatic and then you fall on your knees like, no. And then he I... gives you a Fantasia. Yeah. But, um... I'm actually, it's gonna be very interesting to see the, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand by what I said. Cat boys are not gonna be the primary loss to bun boys. It's gonna be pop tail boys. I, I could I could honestly see that. I think I think there's a lot of uh, the gender androgyny vibes that a lot of people go, that are, a lot of people are really enjoying about the Bun Boys, and, yeah. and Cat Boys and, kind of have a different vibe entirely. And and a reminder that the official gender of every Papito whose gender you don't know is snacks, like <laughs> is starch. Just, yeah, it's just starch. They're a potato. Okay, <laughs> like there's no it's fine. Which is why I'm upset that I'm not allowed to wear cryo jacket. <laughs> uh, all right, so come on out, next person. Oh. Hi, Brad. How are you? How's it going? All right. Ooh. Got like a cyber, cyber ninja. Snake, it's my t Oh my god. Are you, um... Are you Raiden? Is that right? Raiden? From That's Metal Gear? That's definitely a Raiden. Hell yeah! Oh my god, this is great. Oh, this is real good. I haven't even played Metal Gear, but I know who Raiden is. Specifically, MGS4 Raiden. Oh my uh. god. I also want to point out that I believe, uh, I believe Samurai was opened explicitly for this. I think that is the because, yeah, that's the default Samurai because gear. it's glammed nice. over default Samurai gear and Samurai's at level fifty. Well, 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 good job, Kiki. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't even know. Like, I I've never played any Metal Gear games. Ashley's probably gonna pinch me for that. Um. But like, 
I've never played a single one. So, like, I even know who Raiden is. So, like, this lands pretty well. And, like, I I'm going to look up MGS4 Raiden specifically. Yeah, this looks a lot like him. Yeah, this is, this is actually, like, the more I look at it, the more I realize how, like, well done it is. You did a great like, job. The the, yeah, the brown on his arms and, like... Yeah. It's, it's very well done. <laughs> huh. Damn. Sorry, we're having to check ref materials because we didn't expect, uh, you know... Yeah, all yeah. right. Well, I mean, damn, yeah. I think this is pretty accurate. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah, that's fantastic, Kiki. All right. As for presentation, I like the sword coming out. I like the snake reference that kind of alludes to MGS uh, very easily. Um, I like the vibes. Uh, could have been flashier. Always could have been flashier, but I am able to understand very quickly about uh, who you are and stuff, so I think it works pretty well. I'll give you a 14 out of 20 for presentation. Looks pretty good. Um, I think it works pretty well. Colors. Fuck, I think the colors are perfect. Like the arms, the shoulders, kind of like the chin, too. Like, I think that's right. You know, and the gray and then the sword. Like, I think that that's pretty accurate. I don't think Raiden had a blue tail, but, you know, we could just omit that. Um, uh huh. Like, I think that works really, really well. I'd have to say 20, 20 out of 20 for the colors. Makes sense. I know who this is. This is. I know what we're talking about. It works perfectly. Um, and yeah, that works pretty well. So good job. A theme. That's a Halloween costume. So twenty out of twenty. I like the. I like the idea of pulling it from a different game. Um, mm -hmm. That is a Halloween costume. It works pretty well. It's kind of exactly what we needed. So that's twenty out of twenty there. Can't really fault you. Um, creativity. Now, this is derivative because it is a video game character, but it's also a specific instance of a video game character, and it's for a Halloween costume. So, you know, really, again, kind of hard to fault you. I gotta say, I feel like it's a... I, f I feel like I'll give you a, a 16 out of 20 there. Because I, I can't really complain about the creativity. Um, it is derivative, so there could have been more to it. I guess I can complain a little bit, because that's what I'm doing right now, right? Yeah. Um, it is derivative, it is from something different, but it is definitely unique in the form of a Halloween costume. Um, especially the specific instance of Raiden. Um, I can't speak to Raiden super well, but I can tell you that uh, I it's, it's very on the mark, and it works pretty well. As for yeah. personal bias... You know, I'm gonna give you a 20 out of 20. I dig the I dig the samurai being opened exclusively for this, but I also dig the vibes of you uh, just making a Raiden outfit for Halloween. Like that's pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people thought to do like another character as a Halloween costume, but those are really popular. Licensed characters are really popular, and I like it. I think it's pretty well done, and I recognize the costume pretty pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts, Willibert? My only question, what's up with the unicult? Is there a purpose behind the unicult? Is there like some raid reference that I, as a not Metal Gear Solid person, am not getting? Um, Cause I, I gotta know, cause like, I feel like it's a reference, but I don't know what it is. And I'm, I'm, I'm upset, I don't understand, help. That's Kiki all. said no purpose. <laughs> no purpose, okay, cool, that's it, that's all I got. All right. So uh, that is a 90 out of 100. Hell yeah. That's a pretty good score by my book. Indeed it is. Indubitably. All right. <clears throat> good job. Can we get a round of applause uh, for Kiki? Congrats. I also forgot how good the, the samurai um, motions are. All right. Do we yeah. have a next? Uh, I don't know. Do we have anybody else? No. There's nobody back. Right. Just us top it. Sloppy. Just, just, as just long as top. somebody's uh, not hiding in the background, descending from the ceiling, or uh, wrapped popping up, up from in some the other stage. mysterious affairs, it's, it's a very good dance. I, I do love your mummy costume so much. That's so good. I, 
I, I had so much fun. Uh, full credit, I did find it on um, uh, the Aorzea catalog, but it was it was too good to pass up. Like, and there's there's pieces from all over Stormblood in this, because um, uh, Alamegan gear has a lot of it. But the hand wraps are actually the most expensive part. They're from Pagos. <laughs> They're like like ninety thousand gil for the hand wraps, and I was Holy like, shit. sure, I'll do it. Yeah, I don't know why, but well, because you can only get them in Eureka. Mm, okay. You only get them in Eureka, and uh, if you, lots of people are uh, are busy with um, a southern mm -hmm. That is fair. That is fair. I believe you. Um, Game. Why am I sitting on the table? I wanted to sit on this chair that was. Uh, and Shadow, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. I hope you're having an absolutely super day. Because my name is Super. Love you so 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 much. Welcome. Uh, yes, we do a glam contest every month, actually, with actual like good prizes and stuff. Uh, first place today is getting a jet black dye that they can sell or use at their leisure. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, we, we do these glam contests, uh, pretty often, at least once a month, and it's usually a theme for the month and stuff, so this theme is Halloween. Although you just caught us, uh, I think we're gonna do a review now, but I hope you're having a beautiful day. Alright. Okay. So, are we yeah. ready to announce the winners? Yeah. Uh, when we reveal the winners, please come up to the stage uh, one at a time and stay up on the stage, too. But as yeah. always, we will start with third place. Oh, well, we have a problem. What's that? There's a tie. <gasps> For third place? Yeah. But uh, we said, what, 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 was the, what was the prize for third place? Uh, 75k, Gil. I, I, I vote that uh, in this case, we're just going to pay out uh, both of them. I'll pay out the other one. I uh, think that's so, a good idea, Willibur. But can you please announce the third place winners? Indeed. In third place, we have Priscilla and Mountain, both tied with 88 points. Can we get a round of applause for our third place winners? Hell yeah. Damn, I thought I was pretty good about trying not to make a tie. Yeah, you, you were you were close. I think I think you 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 were you were off somewhere, uh, but they had uh, almost identical. Yeah, good job, good job, good job, good job. Poggers. Um, we love to see it. We love to see it. Oh. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. Uh, and then, uh, in oh. second. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just complaining to myself. I go okay. me. Uh, and then in second place, with a score of 90 points, we have Macaria. Yay! Yay! More clapping. <clears throat> and in, in first place, uh. With a score of 93 points, uh, the dad, uh, wait. Hell uh, yeah. Thank you so much for all of your participation. Um, so I have, I have die to give to Wake, and I have, uh, I will pay out, um, Mountain. Uh, Dabbing dad, I love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. You uh, do indeed. This is, uh, fantastic. Good job. Um, let me get a, a picture with y'all, too. Um, I'm also, I will also say too, I'm pretty glad of my, I'm pretty glad of my vampire outfit too. I'm pretty happy yeah. with it. Yeah, you did great. I feel, ve feel very vampiric. Uh, let me stand. Can we put, can we put the femros in the back maybe? Let the, yeah, let the can, smaller. Can we have, or, or we can have weight switch, but either way. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to pull cool, that cool, 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 uh, The rest of y'all can come up too. You guys don't have to stand back. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can you guys can join on up as well. Smalls in the front, smalls in the front, tools in the back. Also, I just I just love that we have uh, three femros here. Just saying. Yeah, it's true. That's like half of all the femros on the entire server. That is half of all femros on the server. That is actually correct. It might actually be half of all femros ever. Um. All right, let me just get a quick G pose here. There are dozens of us. Literally dozens. Literally dozens. Uh, and while you take that G pose, I will be back momentarily. All right, have fun. All right. God, wake! I cannot get over how good your outfit is. Oh my god. Should I dragoon glam? You absolutely could. Our glam, our glam show is run by our FC. But it is absolutely open to everybody. 
Uh, it is open to everybody. Anybody can join, right? Um, you don't have to be of the FC. You don't have to be of the server. Just honestly, just show up when we have the contest. That's all you got to do. All right. Distract it. And I return. Welcome back. Good job, team. Thank you so much for participating. Um, yeah. I'm coming to the one next month. Please do. Um, yeah. Uh, congrats to everybody. Good job. I need to give some of you money, though. Um, uh, I'm going to give Mountain money. I will give Priscilla. Oh, she's doing that. Okay. Wake, I'll just give you your cash right now. And then Will should have the dog. You, and of you, course, you won, so you get egg. You also egg. Very important. Oh, thanks you, for the Wow, high, high quality egg. High quality that, egg. That, you know, that, that kind of, like, prize, very difficult to find anywhere. Um. Yep. <laughs> you guys are all high quality glamours, so I give you I, high quality egg. I have received one egg for my, for my paint, uh, as is the way. As is the way. This is the way. All right. There you go. Oh, thanks to the egg. Oh, I got an egg back. Nice. Egg. Um, yeah. Egg. Yeah, I don't have a costume sale. I look somebody come by. That's been really fun to see so far. Hell yeah. It's very huh. cool. Uh, November. Uh, I have a theme for November. Um, okay. One I think you might in particularly like, Wilbur. Oh, and it, what, what is that? I'm doing... A mistake. <laughs> is it healer glams? Please let it be healer glams. We have yet to do a competition that, you know, centers around the average everyday glams that an individual may have. And I ask you this. Do any of you play this game with a green marker next to your name? If yes. so, consider... Uh, popping in to say hello. It's good. good, good. I'm rhyming. Uh, <clears throat> uh, healer glams are for November. We're doing healer glams as our theme for November. Uh, you have to have a glam prepared for healer. It doesn't matter what exactly, but you have to be a healer, right? You have to be the class astrologian, white mage, scholar, or sage. Or sage. Because sage yep. will be released by then. And we'll have, oh, wow. And we'll have all of Endwalker's new glam options. So we'll, this will be our first glam contest where we can get stuff from Thavnair and from Charlayan. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, this is going to be really good. Uh, I will definitely oh, yes. be down to pony up some additional gill uh, to, to really sweeten the pot because I'm super excited for this. Yes, we don't have our prizes decided quite yet. But that is the theme. It is healer glams, and the old, like the requirement is you must be a healer. It must be equipment for a healer. But how the glam looks to you is completely up to you. I will be judging on a basis of how white mage is this white mage glam, how like sage is this sage glam, things like that a little bit, right? Um, so there's gonna be a, like a little bit of a bias depending on the glams. Like if you dress up as an astrologian as a white mage, I'll be like, why? You know, kind of thing, right? But uh, uh, also, have you considered stick? Stick, the best true. white mage. Stick. It's the best white mage weapon. It just is. It's just. It's just, it's just a nice stick. It's just objective. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be our theme for November is healer glands. Um, we will again have prizes again for everything. Uh, it should be the last Saturday of the month. Uh, which I actually need to double check that. Is that Thanksgiving? I. I think it might be. I was actually thinking about that. We will uh, confer 
amongst ourselves and we, get we will back. confer upon that. I might bump it up to the if I bump it up to the twentieth though, that's a hardly hitting Ann Walker. Ugh. Right. We might need to do it like the first weekend of this. Um, we'll figure it. I tell you what, we'll figure it out. Zoom in and we'll talk about it, and we'll get back to you. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might it might end up being like the first week of December then. Um just to give people time to play N Walker and to uh have Thanksgiving with their families. Uh, oh. <laughs> probably not both of those. Definitely one of those probably don't have enough time to do both. True. Um <laughs> so hell yeah, you know you uh and it will start at four o'clock on that Saturday. Uh, we'll, uh, we will announce the time and schedule it in the Discord server. So if you're not in our Dis Discord, consider joining my Discord server. You can do exclamation point Discord. Uh, that is also kind of our FC's unofficial Discord. Um, yep. And we use it to run all of our stuff. And uh, that's where you can find people who can raid with you, can help you out with trials or extremes or things like that if you have an issue. Um, that's also where you can find people to help you team up with when Endwalker drops as well. But that's where we will announce uh, the time and date as we may need to adjust it a little bit uh, because of the holidays and underwater release. Uh, additionally, uh, yeah, feel free to join the Discord. That is where we'll make the announcements. Uh, additionally, you can check out my stuff there too because, yeah, shameless plug. Uh, let's see, that is that for the Glam Show. I think everybody should have their prizes. Uh, will, did you have anything to add? Uh, no. Tomorrow's one of my Final Fantasy XIV streams over on uh, Twitch.tv slash extra credits. Uh, we're doing uh, Community Map Day because I have had several FC officers be like, Will, when are we going to do maps next? And so we're doing maps tomorrow to keep them happy. Uh, and then we're probably going to do more Blue Mage stuff because uh, that's the best way to farm the new Moogle Tomes for that sick bomber jacket if you want a sick bomber jacket. I got like I got like sixty in an hour. It was great. Yeah, uh, I, I have gotten twenty seven just from existing during the event, um, but I'm very much looking forward to getting the rest. Hell yeah! Um, we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, um, it should be uh, pretty fun, I think. Um, and I'm pretty happy. Uh, I, I I started Blue Mage too, and I'm I'm pretty happy with how Blue Mage is. Yeah, I think a lot of people have a lot of really negative opinions of Blue Mage because of how much it wrecks eights. Um, but if you just do it with your friends, it's a really great way to, like, absolutely demolish content that used to be difficult. You're like, oh, wow, I remember when we did this. And, man, I love a Blue Mage. It's just like, ha, 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 ha. Pretty much. Um, hell, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, cool. Um, also, I got a question earlier, too. Or somebody asked, uh, why are there so few Femros? Boy, have I got theories. But I will save Willibur's ear for that later. Uh, <laughs> I, I will not say, subject I'm, you to me ranting and raving about how much I love Femrose. I'm, I just, just know that whatever Zumi says about uh, representation and Femrose, I agree with. Like, I've never, I've, I've listened in when she talks about a lot of things and she's right an awful lot of the time. Um, so I just agree on Femrose. Uh, as a potat, I don't, and potat. Potat is potat. Mm hmm. And you've got, there's so many potatoes, too. It's <sighs> true. Less than 2%, baby. Less than 2%. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, cool. Um, I guess if you don't have anything to, else to, you know, if you've if you got nothing else, mm -hmm. you are absolutely released. You can, okay. you can flee from my clutches. Oh, uh, thank you. Well, uh, have a wonderful rest of the stream, and I will catch you later. Bye, y'all. Goodbye. Goodbye, Willibur. Uh, that was Will from Extra Credits. Uh, Twitch channel is uh, uh, Extra Credits. Um, pretty pretty nifty guy. Uh, helps with all the, the glam stuff. Is very good. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the glam contest. Uh, and Phantom Thieves, thank you so much for following us. We appreciate it. I hope you're having an absolutely spooky day because my name is spooky. Love you so, so much. And now I must ask you all an important question. Uh, we can stay on Final Fantasy XIV and dink around for a little bit if you want. Maybe, I don't know. 
um, kind of uh, maybe like do some leveling stuff or something, do, do more Endwalker prep or something like that. Uh, or I could go back and finish that Yakuza Zero chapter. Uh, but up to y'all. I don't mind either way, but I figured to ask you guys if you were interested in, in whatever you're interested in. I am just unfortunately hooked. Jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Now, see, when you say you don't mind either way, that's not very helpful, is it? Yakuza. I'm really liking the Kuzuna, right? I'm not gonna lie. Majima, 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 Majima. Okay, I mean, if you guys insist, I do like this flame a lot, though. I will say. I just, I'm very happy with my vampire flame. Who's in here and play Majong? Ugh, I don't know about that one. Um, let's move my cursed chat box over there so you guys don't see the weird shit people tell me or send me whispers about but poggers so apologies if you want more final fantasy 14 content if you want more final fantasy 14 content from me i will be releasing a video on my youtube channel uh probably tomorrow about black mages and black mage prep for n walker and that's kind of poggers additionally um i will also be doing a final fantasy 14 stream on monday we're doing the alt we're doing the shadowbringers trial series so the gaius quests we're doing that on monday by the way. Uh, additionally, we're also doing Yukob Prog on Monday as well. So we're doing a couple of things on Monday. Got some variety for Final Fantasy XIV. We're also doing another Final Fantasy XIV stream on Wednesday. Uh, both of those are at 4 o'clock Central. And the Wednesday stream is... Uh, should be happening. I don't think there's anything disrupting it, but it should be happening, and that will be uh, an MSQ stream, along with some Blue Mage leveling and some Blue Mage stuff. I gotta get some more spells. Um, and such. If that makes sense. There we go. But, uh, yeah. So that's on the docket. And then Tuesday is 4 o'clock Central for Final Fantasy, um... Final Fantasy 9. Tuesday is Final Fantasy 9. And then Thursday is more Yakuza. We're doing a little bit of variety, uh... But that is mostly because Ann Walker hasn't released yet. Um, when Ann Walker releases, I might calm down on the other streams. I might focus a bit more on it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like, I, I really am enjoying Yakuza, and I want to give Final Fantasy IX another shot because I did kind of get hooked at the end there. Let me make sure I change the category. Okay, good. I did. Um, also, let me make sure I, ch I move my chat box up too. I gotta move my my camera. There we go. That seems to work a little bit. But as they say, variety is the spice of life. Um, I definitely don't mind doing a little bit of variety before Endwalker comes out, because, like, y'all, I'm gonna be real, I don't know what to do. <laughs> if anyone has any suggestions for Final Fantasy XIV stuff, let me know. But I, I have done a lot of things. Makoto Akimara is in here, whack him and be back in the fan. Nice. My job is full time. Hold on for things like this. This time, but let's bust in. Here we go. Roddy's actually been quite nice. Hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I know it's not popular with some people, but um, 
again, like, I don't know. It's also not going to be popular to sit in the Final Fantasy XIV category and do literally nothing. So I'm hoping maybe I can release some video content to satisfy that itch, you know? Because I do actually plan on... I'm, I'm hoping to release maybe a Reaper video before Endwalker releases, but we'll see if that happens. That is a bit of a spicy release time. If that makes sense. Alright, let's see where this takes us. For and Walker for sure, is that uh Zara? That's a beautiful knife though, I'm not gonna lie. behind the curtain. He's a big boy. Holy shit. God hands, my God. Oh, she's a high poly lady. She's important. She has a cane. She can't see. Oh, she's blind. どこにいたんですか俺は今店に入ってきたとこや。いきなりあんたがすごい勢いで突進してきたもんやから余計切れんかったんや。ビビったのは俺の方やで。でも今日のようやくはもう入っていないはずです。そうなんか。え、実は。
今日は出かけて帰ってきませんすみませんなんで謝るんや分かったとにかく出ます Look at my leader The shout and shake her That'll show you're not a thief That'll make her feel safe 本当に本当にすみませんな泣くなよ<笑> He's so sad おつらいんですかさっき体がバラバラになりそうって治療されるなら早く予約をされた方がえああ,あそれはもうええんやほなまだなやっぱりやっぱりダイヤマンちゃう違う言うとやろうなお前がシフォーケンガーダムお姉ちゃんにやってもらおうかななそれなら納得してもらえるか God, he was just, he's just flailing. He lost it. Like, he, he's completely out. Like, he, he's just all over the place. All his smoothness, all that, like, suaveness, gone. Oh my god, he's so, he's so out of it. <laughs> And she saw right through him, too. <laughs> Oh. It's good that he's actually a l i そうなんですか。同業の方たくさんいらっしゃいますよ。やっぱり大変なお仕事みたいですね。Forced to get a massage, Lamel. この前もグランドって有名なお店の人が来て、支配人がむちゃくちゃばかりするから毎日すごい大変だってぼやいてました。ほ、ほ、誰や一体。よく貧乏暇なしって言いますけど私は忙しい方がいろんなお客さんと知り合えるから全然苦にならないんですよね私お客さんから仕事のこととか町のこととか聞くのが好きなんですよ、God, so、nice お客さんが普段どんな仕事をしてて、like、the lady. それで体がこんな風に凝ってるんだなって施術をしながら頭の中で想像したりするんです。ほな、uh... well, ねえちゃんの話聞かせてくれや。のや、趣味とかあるんかそうですね。返事の本を読んだりもしますけど、ラジオを聞く方が好きかな。ラジオか。最近はテレビの方がええって思ってたけど、目見えへん人でも楽しめるっちゅうんはラジオのええところやな。People can't see the joy too. <笑>でも、一方的に話を聞くより、こうしてお客さんと直接お話をする方が好きなんです。<笑>だから。仕事が趣味みたいなものかもしれません。人と話すのが好き言うんやったらあんた、ホステスなんか向いとるんとちゃうか私がですかさすがにそれは。あいやいや、ああいう店に来る男っちゅうのは、誰かに自分の話がしたいんや。せやからホステスっちゅうのは、何よりもまず聞き上手でなきゃあかん。そういうものなんですかそんなもんや。その点、姉ちゃんはいい線いっとると思うで。しかし、仕事が好きか。そら、うらやましいよ。お仕事、好きじゃないんですかうんまあ、上司がちょっとな。そうなんですか。じゃあ、きっと。私は
店長のお店だったから今までやってこれたけど、uh, like、他のお店だったらとてもここの店長ってのはどないな人なんや店長ですかそうですねなんか見た目は怖いらしいです。何やその見た目はっちゅうのはまるで実はちゃうみたいやないか。だってあんなに優しい人他にいませんよ。そりゃどうなると怖いかもしれませんけど。その何や暴力を振るうタイプとちゃうんか暴力確かに店長、力は強いみたいですね。店長の視圧を受けてるお客さんはいつも悲鳴を上げてますよ。<笑>いや、そういう意味はノーってな。でも、あんなに強く視圧してるのに、もみ返しが起こることが全然ないって、すっごい評判なんですよ。ゴッドハンドっちゅうやつか。どうしてもお店に来られないって人のために。出張訪問までですることもありますしいつもお客さんの健康を第一に考えてるんです。生態してもそうですけど、人間としてとっても尊敬できる人ですよ。それに、以前、私も店長に救われたし。救われたとにかく、店長は。全然怖くないですよ。人は見た目によらないってことで。私見たことないですけど。おいおい、さすがに笑えんで。Same as Akko, yeah. I don't trust, I don't trust、uh, chiropractors either, surface, but like a masseuse. Like, I do a masseuse. New emo just dropped in general. Oh my god, what is it? New emo, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, Claire, I love it. It's awful. It is perfectly awful. Fantastic. God, gamer. Let's meet this fella in person, see for myself. Yeah. This is cool. I mean, this, this lady's really nice. And yeah, Majima got caught off guard, but like, he's got a nice, relaxing massage, you know? Did he fall asleep? Dude needs it. And his knife is right there. Majima, no! Okay, Aksa. お客さんな、なんや、寝てもうたんか。God, really、that, then, huh? 相当お疲れだったみたいですね。リンパも全然流れてなかったみたいですし、睡眠不足が続いていたんじゃないですかあ,ああ、そうかもしれんな。じゃあ、今度は仰向けになってもらえますかちょっと枕の準備しますね。Oh, hey. Damn. Jima's kind of hot with his shirt off. Oh, he's got tattoos too. They both have tattoos. That's interesting. Oh, oh, oh no, Makoto's got him. I'm not going to be able to get him. I'm not going to be able to get him. I'm not going to be able to get him. I'm not going to be able to get him. I'm not going to be able to get him. Oh, no. She bullied him well. Oh. Oh god, Makoto's got it red easy. Oh god, Makoto's got it red easy. Oh god, Makoto's got it red easy. Oh 
ありですかそれはあデジに任せっきりやったら新規のお客さんに失礼やしな、oh, okay. it's gonna be a knife fight. オプションでハリーとこが思ってなえ本当ですかお客さんラッキーですよ店長常連さん以外ハリ治療やってくれないんです店長のハリキューだったらお客さん残りもよくなるかもしれない、oh, so、んあれ何の音だろうああ、あかん。大事なもん忘れたわ。ちょ、お前、タバコ買うてこいや。え、わ私春やるとき、わしがタバコで急に火つけるんは知っとるやろあ、早く買うてきて。<笑>でも、私だと時間かかりますよ。大丈夫や。それまでゆっくり、このお客さんのツボ、チェックせなあかんからな。じゃあ行ってきますああ気をつけてな I don't want to kill this guy at all He seems like a really good guy And like Majima's the threatening one He's the scary guy here あれを取ったらどうや固めのアンちゃんこういう状況も慣れっこっちゅうわけが Yeah there's so much tension here 木村誠さんよそんな前どこで聞いたんやどこもおかしくもあるべテレクラスのスネークさんのことで派手なリサーチかましとりゃ何も売れるわほういろいろ調べてきたようやな随分余裕やな Like, it's not. オウミの鉄砲玉が何か知らんが、マトの店で気抜いとるようなトシロの殺し相手なら、なおさらや。It is very flipped. 悪いことは言わん。このまま大人しゅうかるは見逃してるで。Also, the fact that he mentioned Omni Man, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Majima is not the first guy to try to kill him. ならゴッドアンドの大サービスや。行くぜTime, though. Theory time. Theory time. They've sent guys after this guy before. Probably because he knows something. There's something that he knows that's valuable. Maybe it's like a police investigation, so they're trying to get him killed before he can give like a testimony or something. This is just a theory.、Um, get him killed before he can do something like that. That's time limited. They've sent guys after him before. They failed. That's why Majima has two days. Is because this guy knows something and he's going to divulge that soon. And like. This guy seems very prepared. And it, he even mentions, like, I don't know if you're an Omniax or whatever, but, like, it, if you get comfortable in my shop, you're, like, a, a doof. Like, the fact that, like, this does not sound like the second or the third or maybe even the fourth time somebody's been sent after him. And they, they're, like, you know, Sagawa just threw a wild pitch out trying to send Majima after him, thinking that maybe Majima could do it. Because it's clear he's getting desperate. That explains why he's desperate, because he's going to give a testimony or something that's time related. And a disclosed amount of time, and every guy they've sent after this guy has failed. So, like, that's why Saga was desperate. That's why it makes sense. That's my theory. But of course, we're probably gonna win. Presumably. Also, I like that he's got the orange color to represent, like, the strength thing, like, the toughness. Uh oh, this is bad. <laughs> It's 
hard for us to get stabbed. And the music's not yeah, the music's very threatening. ただの鉄砲玉やと思っとったが、人は出ちゃうな。何もやわ。こっちのセリフや。おお。もう<笑> やっぱり人気な準備だがい。ちゃんとお仲間呼んどったちゅうわけが。なおか、お前の仲間とちゃうんか。何やと。取り込み中すんまへんな。あんたが店長のリーウェンハイやな。ウェンハーリー。That's <笑> <laughs> I bet Makoto's the woman. I bet she is. That's a gender neutral name, right? That's a Chinese name. That's <laughs> ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。ちょ。
turns out getting shot by a gun hurts. But God, that one, God. That one dude just fucking took so many bullets. Now that's one on one. Oh, God. There we go, bat to the face. Get fucked. Bitch. Also, the one guy died. Dude. Kidding me? I'm a kidnapped girl. Okay. Also, I'm not gonna lie. I actually big brained this so right. My knee jerk reaction was like, oh, Makoto, I think that's a girl's name. And you're like, it's gender neutral. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, this guy's Makoto. I'm like, huh. This girl seems important, though. And then I even guessed too, when we were talking on the phone about like Makoto tree and the girls, right? Or something I'm like, I bet they're a woman. This sounds like something a woman would like, this sounds like something a woman might have like sensitivity to or something. <gasps> Turns out I was right, baby. Um, and then just like all of that shit and like, God, that's juicy. Oh my God. Oh. I don't think we're actually gonna spoil that though. I mean, please don't spoil that. I'd be very sad if you did. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd be very sad if you just like blatantly spoiled something like that. That's that's very important, right? Majib is very hot, yeah. No way we'd spoil that, yeah. Come on. Come on, Majima, fucking 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 Alright, come on, let's go. She has a health bar. Oh, I hate that. If she gets hurt, I'm gonna freak. There we go, good job. I love the Vegeta's fight style has a mix of colorful, cool, and absolutely wild goblin fighting. Agreed. I can't use the heavy fight next to her, it's gonna get her killed. Zumi probably. Me definitely, Tiki. I'm saving Makoto. Oi, I, I don't want to hit her though, Raka. I really don't want to hit her though. She is? Oh, I thought she wasn't. I thought I was hitting her. せつめ God, I'm so glad Majima did something though. Escort battle. Oh God. Go. 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 Go.
Type A card? I, you know what? We're just. I'm just gonna ignore that. We're, we're gonna go back to that. <laughs> I'm just ignoring that. Oi! Oh, huh. It's a Yakuza game. Huh. Oh! Keep that in mind. Maybe. Fuck, I messed it up. Damn it. How is the obvious Yakuza aura? God, I want Majima to be my knight in shining armor. <laughs> Stop. Okay, 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 okay. Did you go yet? Yeah, Majima's trying real hard not to be suspicious. Good for him. Makoto, I'm sorry. Can't work this way. Tight to the tip. Close to the tip, 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 hype. Woo! Okay. Oh boy. Close to the tip, close to the tip, close to the tip. Hello. How are you? Close to the tip. Hiding in the crowd, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I do really like that Majima stepped in to help her though. I know, I mean, I know it's gonna be a big question mark on like whether he ends up killing her or not. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not sure it is. Like, I don't, I don't think Majima's the guy. I don't think he could do it. Like an innocent, like blind girl. Like, oh my god, Majima is ready to kill, but not like that. You, know, you go into this thinking that, like, ah oh man, this guy, he's a bad dude. He's a bad guy, shitty to women and stuff. Then you learn, oh no, this guy's actually like a really great guy. Wow, he's really nice. And then you learn even further, oh, he's not even a guy. Oh no, uh, she's a small blind woman. Like this, like this just keeps going and going. Hi. But in scene. In scene. Yeah. Well, Majima thought he was killing a bad guy, like just a terrible person. No, this is a small blind woman who is very clearly afraid. Yeah. But Majima's decision to kill her is gonna be like a big thing. Like decision whether or not to kill her. I don't think he's gonna do that. I don't think he 
but it's gonna be. Wait, that's the matter. Hona, you there? No, it's done. It's gonna be juicy. It's gonna be very juicy. Also, I like that the stealth section actually isn't incredibly frustrating. Right, Cosmo does have orphan to just come in. Yes, you could. Hey, this is the park where I'm at Sago. It's not in the air. No, Sumia. Shabet to the second day. No, I have an acre. Who's on your way? I got to shine. Right, whatever. Okay, cool. Ugh. Sure, fine. All right. They also don't immediately lose if you fail stealth. That's really nice. I like that a lot. I know what these. Actually, I think I can have a guess at what these card things are for. <laughs> Hey, there's that stall. Yeah, that's the stall where I am. Oi! Abunai kara ushiro ni ore! Um, wakatta. Trading cards, for sure. Ah, yes, clearly. Take him, take her out. I hate how it zooms in on the hand. Like, that's so sad. There we go. It zooms in on his hand leaving hers, that's so... Shit. You know what? She's not here, though. Okay, so I didn't fuck up so bad, she's not even in the fight. Okay, that's good. That was smart, Majima. You ask, say if the guy's okay while running away. It breaks my heart because she doesn't know. She in general is kind of breaking my heart. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, is this a forced encounter? Okay. Majima. Break this guy's face, Majima! There we go. Oh. Oh. Mother, not to talk in Yenaga. Motamota still human, I did. Time to go, Makoto. 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 What if I hide? <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see shit. You don't see shit. You didn't see shit. You did not see shit. Oh, 
ついてこいやはいおい危ないから後ろにおれ分かったハリネットコースレッドペンレッドペンレッドペンそんな余裕ないわしっかり捕まってろや Does he pick her up? よし行くでおおおい危ないから後ろにおれ、うん、<笑>あとはここをつけばやつらを振り切れるはずや God, there's more. <笑>手こずらせてくれたな兄さんまことちゃん渡してもらおうかけくそしつこいやっちゃなお前はここでじっとしとけえはい God, I really hope we do this. さっき逃がしてもええでどうせ一人やったら遠くまで行かれへんすぐに追いつけるんやからな。I hate that he calls her Makoto chan too. ここでお前を確実にぶっ殺す。I think he そ,れからゆっくりとマコトちゃん捕まえて、連れて行かせてもらう Oh man, this feels so gratifying in so many ways. I love the baseball bat, just saying. Oh, yes. Oh, my, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <笑>お前そんなことも知らんとあ,あの女をどうこうしようとしてたんかなんやとお前は何も分かっとらんあの女の価値を<笑>とんだまぬけやお前は自分が何に足を突っ込んでんのか分かっておいどういうことやくっI did not expect the chapter to go like this at all. I mean, I guess I predicted some stuff. I didn't expect us to have a stealth section, this fight, Majima saving a girl, a blind girl. Like, I. It ran like all night. Koko ma de kitara daiju yaro. お前大丈夫か<笑>おい何を
大丈夫やもう大丈夫や店長は心配すんなやつも逃げたすぐに会えるはずや本当に Don't lie to her. Don't lie to her. No, Majima. Don't you fucking dare, Majima! No! No! After everything? You can't do this, Majima. You can't. After everything. You can't. You can't. What? What? No! 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 <laughs> this game fucking sucks. <laughs> Wait, we're going back to Kiru? その揺れぎぬを着せられた道島組若頭の風間を守るべく決死の覚悟で組を抜ける桐生を破めたのは風間に次ぐ組の幹部道島組若頭補佐 クゼ剣能会会長クゼ大作その最終的な狙いは空の一つぼと呼ばれる土地にあった巨大な利権の絡む神室町再開発計画にとって書くことのできない空の一つぼその僅かな土地をめぐる極道たちの熾烈な争
ってあと3日ってとこだなるほどでもやっぱり立花ってのは結構な力持ってんな札にも太いコネがあるってわけだそうらしいなその件についてとりあえず連中に任せるしかねえかでお前は今何してんだだから不動産屋の仕事だはあ、殻の一粒の持ち主がはっきり見つかるまでの間だけどなもう一息ってとこまで来てるらしいがそれまでは不動産屋の普段の仕事を手伝えって言われてんだ仕方ねお前が肩たの仕事するってああ小田っていう立花不動産の幹部が俺の教育係にいてなそいつとこの後、キサルプスっていう人たちがいる。And like his mentor here? その前に俺のこの服を何とかしなくちゃならなくてよ。服極道、yes, 丸出しじゃ仕事になんねんだと。まっとうな肩着に見える服を仕立ててこいとさ。ああ。お前、もしかしてそれで俺のことを呼び出したのか服についちゃお前に聞くのが一番だ。お前なら、まっとうな肩着の服、見立ててくれるかと思ってな。<笑>人を見る目があるぜ、お前。わかった。任せとけ。安心しろ。そんなに期待しちゃいない。ただ、俺が選ぶよりはいくらがマシだろ。お前なあ。それが人に物頼む態度が待ち合わせまで時間どれぐらいあるんだそんなにはないなできればカムロ町で買い物を済ませたいそれじゃあ,あんまり選択肢はないなこの近くでビジネス用の服売ってる店っつったら中道通り裏のメンズスーツか中道通り裏そんなとこに服売ってる店なんてあったか新米のホストがスーツ買いに行くような店だ高級ブランドなんかは置いてねえがまあとりあえずの間に合わせにはちょうどいいだろう贅沢は言わねえさ。それじゃ行くか。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。Uh, or done there, been, been there, done that. <laughs>、uh, the good, I, I will completely admit they're very fun and I like them a lot. But I don't have time to go through another chapter. <laughs> I have DD.、Uh, need to go get ready for that.、Um, I gotta go do that and I am on the edge of my seat right now. This game has made me cry officially, so that's kind of fun. I, I don't know what to do, honestly. To be perfectly honest. But we're gonna go raid a friend of mine. A, a, lucky, a lucky rabbit who stopped in earlier.、Uh, so we're gonna go say hi to Paige,、uh, who's a good friend of mine, also a streamer, very poggers.、Um, and I am so into this game. I am so fucking into Yakuza Zero. I am neck deep in Yakuza. Holy shit. I, like, they got my attention la this past Thursday. They have my undiluted focus now.、Um, I'm kind of sad I'm not. I'm good. It's gonna have to wait till Thursday. So, Thursday is the next time I'm streaming Yakuza. Four Central. Monday is the next time I'm streaming, though. Monday at 4 Central, we're doing the Gaius、uh, weapon quests in Final Fantasy XIV and y u k o b Prague. You're basically the start of Heaven's Word. <laughs>、um, but, uh, so that's what's happening Tuesday. Then, or sorry, Monday. 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 Monday, we're doing the weapon quests. 
and a UCOB. Tuesday is Final Fantasy 9 at 4, Wednesday is more Final Fantasy 14 at 4, Blue Mage stuff, as well as MSQ. Thursday's Yakuza. Look forward to it, please. Uh, here is my raid message if you want to tag along. Also keep your eyes peeled on my YouTube channel because I will be releasing a video very soon on my YouTube. Uh, I love you all. I can't wait to see you later. I can't wait to play more Yakuza later. I'm having so much fun. This is great. But say it a page for me. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Goodbye. Oi. I started to think Sonic was actually...